Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's JPR, and welcome back to another episode of the Champion League Podcast. Our first, well, actually, the second one was Scarlet and Violet, but our first one, we're actually talking all the way through about Scarlet and Violet. But we are going to give you guys a few minutes to gum into the stream. So we're going to talk about all the wonderful things there is to talk about, first and foremost, as you see in our little graphic here. Uh, our good friend and comrade, Hybrid Hero, has returned to be with the Indian Lord whose name escapes me. I don't know who it is. I'm sorry, Indian people, but he is not going to be here till like the end of the year, probably. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. But yeah, goodness. we had a pretty good conversation before we started streaming, and that was about like exclusive food flavors. And I kind of wanted to follow up on that because like when I had that, that uh, sponsorship from like the Tokyo treat boxes like a few months ago, it was just like exclusive flavors of Kit Kats from Japan. And I'm like, is, is there any reason why they can't come out over here? Like, why can't we have like mint chip Kit Kats in the United States? Like, why is that only a Japan thing? Though, it the is kind of crazy. Not good enough. The strawberries are not as rich as theirs. That's why. Uh, I don't know. Because what? The US, we just have the white chocolate standard dark chocolate, which, you know, hell of a selection you got there, right? I, I think I had the same box, like the lemon Kit Kats. I would never think a lemon Kit Kat would be good. That one slapped. It's probably my favorite one that I got out of the bunch. Like, yes. I don't – just exclusive flavors, bring them over. But that's why those, like, um, those snack boxes, there's one, like, on TikTok. There's, like, a couple companies on there. They're called, like, Bussin' Snacks or something. They do super well because it's like, all those snacks from – japan and the philippines and actually i think some from the uk as well so it's it's kind of cool there's actually a store that's in a in um in a mall that's close to where i live it's like a 10 minute drive from where i live that their whole theme is that they have like all of these exotic snacks from different countries of different flavors and stuff they have like these weird exotic pokemon oreos different cheetos doritos Kit Kat, like literally everything that's their whole thing they import shit from other countries and they sell it i don't know if that's legal. I mean, it is. It's definitely is. <laughs> but it's just weird because you, you can't you can't get them normally here, which is so weird. But somebody's making a business out of selling them here. So, like, I don't know what's going on here. You know what I mean? It just yeah, seems like a missed opportunity. Just like imagine you like have a store just loaded up and it's just not the three basic chocolates. You have like the strawberry, the coffee flavor, the, the mint chocolate. I just, it adds so much more like, damn, what do I really want today? They're trying to keep us uh -huh. ignorant over here. That's what they're trying to do. They're like, you know what? They'll consume more if we just keep it the chocolate and vanilla. Yeah. Pretty, pretty basic standard stuff. And like, I just, some of those, I know Kit Kats. We talked. We were talking about Doritos and the, and you know. Yeah, you said you said on. there's like a hundred and two different flavors of Doritos, 100. and we were all like, I had no we idea. See like so three. <laughs> yeah, and the the crazy part is the top five aren't. Well, actually, the fifth one is a, I guess, a popular ish one in the U.S. But the top the top three aren't even anything I've seen in the U.S. before, which is the Atomic Chili Lemon Bacon. Who who makes bacon Doritos? I, I just want to taste one because it, it just sounds really dope. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other the one, <laughs> I've never right? even heard of that. Then you have Baja Picante. The fourth one is uh, Black Pepper Jack, and the fifth one is one that we I think we do have here, which is the Blazing Buffalo and Ranch, which I think we do have. It's like in a bright blue sky blue bag or something i think i know uh, the one that you're talking about so it's 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 really interesting because again nacho cheese and even cool ranch don't even make the top 20 actually no oh wait, no it, no they don't because number 18 is cooler ranch cooler so, ranch so, that's, a <laughs> thing? Are all, that's a thing are all 102 flavors like in slightly different like colored packaging they're pretty much some some different. They, there's some like crazy flavors though. So just looking at the list, I want to know who has like the poop brown bag. Like what flavor <laughs> actually deserves that? Oh, Let me see if no. I can find it. Because like oh. you think the chili does, but like the chili gets the purple bag, and it looks pretty nice actually. Brown sugar. Let me tell you, they have some like peak flavors on here. Like it just it just sounds interesting. They have some things I would never try, like a cheese and almond. They got that if you only really want to have it. They have things all the way to like coconut curry. To what fish taco the flavor, they even have fondue. Fish for your taco cheese diversity. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't sound good, bro. Humanity right? has gone too far with this one. You have your that's standard, one that I don't uh, want here, bro. You can keep that. <laughs> like you have garlic, you have the gold uh, Peking duck, you have gourmet fried chicken with green onion sauce. It's it's very specific. 
as well on some of these. But they also have things like the standard guacamole. They have, uh, you know, again, buffalo, stuff like that, gourmet sausage. Uh, nacho cheese is 45. So that's just telling you like how far the, you know, even the U S flavors are in the list. Cause the rest are like roasted Turkey and, and rice and mayonnaise. And it's like weird stuff that probably yeah, no I, I can't even tell you a flavor outside of like nacho cheese and cool ranch and that chili stuff. Like that's, that's literally just it. Cause if you remember like back in the day for everyone who's like in the U S and maybe some other countries have it, but uh, like even the Taco Bells, they've nerfed down. Taco Bell used to have like the fiery nacho, the fiery Cool Ranch, the Cool Ranch. Now it's just the nacho cheese at Taco Bell for their like Dorito Loco Taco thing. So like even even that we're like shrunken down to the bare minimum. Interesting. Why? Who knows? Also, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the stream, in case you guys didn't catch on already, uh, this updated background that we have, which I don't know, maybe we're only using it for the stream. Maybe we'll keep it for another week or two. Uh, it's all of our favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. And surprisingly, Zach was not in the hive mind. He actually went with something a little cooler than Cerule Edge. So that's nice. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I had to go with Armor Rouge because there's no good renders from anybody with low kicks. So I just settled for what I was like, whatever, this is fine for me. And I do like Armor Rouge. So I was like, it's fine. Did but. you have to redraw the Flamigo art? I didn't draw that. I just found it. <laughs> that <laughs> one I got lucky. Too found. much credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, someone else drew that. Shout out to whoever that was. Uh, who knows? Shout out to I the person who, who yeah, made this. Whoever, whoever, whoever it was. Right <laughs> on the internet. Whoever I, this is. Shout outs to you. Yeah, I appreciate to the, to the you. Person who gave me the flamigo from hell. I appreciate that too. <laughs> Jeez. Well, actually, so I know we're talking about food. I told you guys earlier today I had two questions because I, I've been thinking about these. I was like, you know what? I'm going to save these for the bros when it comes to the podcast, right? Okay. So I was okay. watching this TikTok the other day, you know, I was scrolling on my phone. Hey, wait, hold up, saw... hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me pause real quick. We got some donations we got to catch up. Oh, yeah, right go ahead. Hit those, hit those, hit those, hit yeah, those. Um, go. Shout out to Chris. We saw these already, but like we weren't technically live yet. But thank you for you the 20. before we were live. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. It's like as soon as it, it goes, <laughs> yeah. like the countdown's beginning, he's already donating. But thank you very much, Chris, for the 20, saying that he beat uh, the Pokemon League with Chocolate Whooper. We got a, a thing or two to, to say about the Pokemon League later. We're going to talk about that Elite Four. You better believe it. Yeah. Uh, Kakula <laughs> says, with the two, it says, got to bring some episodes, got to binge some episodes. Have a good podcast, fam. Thank you very much. Mask with the five saying, if you are wondering who, um, if you're wondering who's hybrid's replacement, it is me. Sure thing, Mask. You, you believe in that. We believe in you. He's actually in the call right now. He's just not saying anything. Yeah. Uh, Mask <laughs> actually doesn't speak. He, he was more of a typer, more of a texter. So that's why. He only communicates to us through donations. Exa exactly. <laughs> and then speaking of donations, <laughs> another donation from Mass the Two says, Zach, how does it feel to get caught in 4K? Uh, not as bad as Jaleel getting caught in 4K. Bro, stop. <laughs> what did you get caught in 4K with? <laughs> uh, I was streaming uh, yesterday, and then it was like, uh, I evolved my Fido into a, a Dox bun, and I was like, oh, he looks so good. He looks like a nice brioche bun. I could almost like taste him or something like that, and he, he took that out of context. Um, but <laughs> like I said, not getting caught. I want to eat Doc's bun too. <laughs> I'm saying that's not wow. as bad as Jaleel saying that he had Grusha in him. You know what I'm saying? Bro, yeah, <laughs> Jaleel, that's, that's a bad out of context. Bro, it was, bro, it was so, it was, bro, I'm, it, that's why no more streaming after work. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> The facial expressions was so legendary as well. Oh, All right. Oh Mass with, the, with another five saying, reminded that Infamous said that Ash will defeat Alon confirm. That is Absolutely. also true. I mean, I guess, I guess um, indirectly he did. Technically he did now. <laughs> he did technically. You're right. Um, I'll take it. And then he also says, reminded that Raph said Sylveon was a flying type. Raph also oh said God. this is confirmed. That was years ago. Does it learn reveal. any flying type moves? Does it learn like air blast or anything? What? No. I mean, uh, I, I'm no, pretty sure it doesn't, doesn't learn that move. I don't think any Pokemon. Not air blast, but I meant I meant to say air slash. <laughs> my bad. Air <laughs> blast. <laughs> air right, is it a Lugia? <laughs> Oh my god. Um, and then nice. the lovely shiny charm with the 20, thank you very much, saying good job with your Gen 9 picks, all based ones. You know Where, us. Where's We're my the Flamigo base. fam at? Where's my Gracias. Flamigo fam? You know, it's funny because I don't like Flamigo, but we'll save that for later. 
Dude, I I, I have mean, to tell you. I mean, Flamigo. What people are were asking me in my tier list video, like, why do you love Flamigo so much? This is literally just a flamingo, and I'm like, that's the point. Like this Pokemon, he is so cracked and dumb to where like he crosses this like event horizon where he goes from being like absurdly stupid to just being like incredible. Like when I caught him at like level five, and he had like a base 500 stat total, and he's fighting flying, and he has all these cracked moves, and he just destroys the first like two or three three gyms i'm like this pokemon is such a meme but i love it you know bro like for me i just like i i'm I'm not even like really mad at the design that it's just a simple flamingo with a knot on its neck it's just the fact that like <laughs> it's typing bothers me because like nothing about this flamingo tells me it's part fighting type that's the he's thing. got the stance he's got the stance what <laughs> a flamingo stance he has legs <laughs> He just looks like a flamingo. What about this flamingo legs. tells you he can fight, bro? He's, okay, okay. Uh, so he's, he's a real really... high jump kick user. Yeah, but all yeah, right. Exactly. We got to get to Jaleel's, so. Jaleel's questions. Uh, real quick, Devin Knox with the 20 says, so Raph, that shiny Zard with texture. What? Which sign? shiny Zard with texture? I'm confused. I guess. You might, I guess. Just, you might have to show me something or tag me. I think, Charizard? I guess they're just talking about the new updated shiny yeah. model for oh, Charizard. Oh, oh yeah. Charizard's model in general just looks so much better in this yeah, game. Yeah, it looks right. much yeah. more accurate, very Way menacing, better. and very cool. And Nathan with the five, I give Scarlet and Violet an eight out of ten. They're great games that run poorly, basically. We'll, yeah, we'll that sums up. That sums up. We'll, that sums we'll, up. <laughs> we'll talk much. about that more, too. All right, Jaleel, real quick before the more donations come. Okay, so, again, I was on TikTok. I saw this TikTok. I was like, wow, this is a crazy topic. So the guy was saying what the best, like, restaurant appetizers are. Right. So I'm like, you know, I thought about it for a bit. I'm going to share my answer in between y'all. OK, but like, what do you guys think is like when you go to a restaurant? What's the best appetizer? Is it breads? Is it mozzarella sticks? Is it something that we probably never, never heard of from like the UK? The raft's going to say, what is the best thing? Ooh. out there? Right. If, if I'm in an Italian restaurant, it's definitely mozzarella sticks. But but mm. if I'm anywhere else. I go for like the fried pretzels and beer cheese. Beer cheese slaps. That is my favorite creation by man. Interesting. Yeah, I, I would literally say that. Cheese. Interesting. I mean, <laughs> see, for me, the go-to is always, and my wife hates me for this because I literally do this every time we go out to eat, but it's always fried calamari for me. Yes. Yes. That's a good one. That is a good one. Calamari is amazing. I, I love it, bro. And then like, uh, yeah, go on. No, I was saying like when you put the lemon squeeze and the, oh, you got the marinara sauce. Uh, oh my, Mwah! amazing, like, bro. I never so, get tired of it. <laughs> like for me as well, there's also like this little, um, oh, who would have thought that the UK would have such good appetizers? But beans on toast? Like <laughs> God damn it, it's cute. It's beans but, and chips. What are you talking about, bro? Beans and chips and cucumber, bro. Nah, I'm Fish and chips, bro. Uh, <laughs> me old flair. There's, um... Like you can get anchovies on like small slices what? of bread. Anchovies? Oh <laughs> <laughs> no! Wait, wait a minute, bro. It's a smelly <laughs> smell that smells. <laughs> smell. Oh, no. Have you had that before? Like, oh Spain, my god! Or, I don't know if you guys have been to Spain before, but they do it like with patata bravas or stuff like so, that. Like, you know, various stuff. I like anchovies, but as an appetizer, that's just I like. As a starter, that's just weird. I'm sorry. No, no, well, not for me all the time, but you know what it is? I like to mix it up with, literally, like you mentioned before, calamaris, different fishes. Sometimes, you know, I'm even basic bitch, bro. I even like just like standard, <laughs> like mini bits and bobs of breads, like John was saying, and cheeses as well. Hey. But you know them way. De De Devin gave us like two that. and says cheddar biscuits. I, I cheddar feel biscuits. that. I was, I was going to mention that. Bubbles. Like for me, I, my go to, depending on the restaurant, but my main go to is usually a bread just because it's already there. Shout out to Texas Roadhouse and probably Red Lobster for the best bread. Yo, the I, Red I, Lobster the biscuits? Party. Oh my I you, God. I tell you, I tell you what Peak. I love. My Italian brethren who bring out the nice garlic bread and olive oil before yes. you've even ordered. Well, it's not even your honestly. appetizer. It's on the they house. They just bring bro. it, yeah, for free. <laughs> hey, have some bread. It's for um, us. The, the Italians are always like, no, no, we're going to give you food and then you can order. <laughs> <laughs> the salads as well. Oh, so good. I'm, I'm cool. Italian's the salads are cool. okay. It's, it's like, a, I mean, I didn't come here for salad, but that's all you got. I guess you I'll gotta have you, have you gotta have your five a day before you start munching, bro. Bro, I've ate the salad earlier in the day. I'm here for <laughs> food. So, so right? what was this mythical 
appetizer that was being presented on TikTok. Oh no, he he was just kind of rating them and going through them, right? And I was like, okay, cool, cool. Oh, he was I think I think all. yeah, and he was it was more like you know, keep five, take five. I was like, just curious to hear what people's go to is. He said his was fried pickles. I'm not a big pickle guy, so oh, yeah, no, I. I love not, pickles. Jeez. I'm not for I, me. I, I know it's a bit of a hot take because I know a lot of people don't really like pickles. It's I 50/50. think it's to me, uh, it's not bad. I think like dipped in ranch, it is a very flavorful thing. But just a hot pickle don't sound good. So <laughs> I just, I've never uh, really been a fan a, like that. That's, that's a no for me. I'll, but, I'll tell you something else that doesn't sound good. I don't know if y'all had any like other big stories to go over from this last weekend. But I, I got a story, if I may interject. Yeah, go go for it. All right. So if some of y'all follow me on Twitter, you might already know. Oh, wait, hold up. Going. Hold up, John. Oh, uh, shiny says chips and salsa really solid and yolo swag senpai says anchovies now nah, raf is blocked on everything not all the time <laughs> not all the time <laughs> all oh, right anchovies. go ahead shout out to so, yolo. Shout out to so, so for for people who follow me on twitter you might know i had a a little bit of an incident this weekend uh so basically there is this place about 45 minutes away from me, who just crossed the Virginia line, called Martinsville Speedway, one of the original NASCAR tracks. And they were doing this thing on Saturday night where it was like, you donate $25 to charity and you get to drive like your personal vehicle around the speedway for five laps. Not fast or anything. You go like 50 miles an hour, there's a pace car out there and you got to keep up with the pace car, right? And I was like, hmm, this would be really cool to do with my old Mustang, not to flex or anything. This is context of the story. I have a 1965 <laughs> Mustang that I bought in high school for cheap and ended up restoring. And when I say I ended up restoring it, I mean I paid a mechanic a lot of money to do it for me <laughs> because I don't know how to do that. But I anyhow. So what you're saying is you have a lot of money. Uh, it was like a four thousand dollar car. It wasn't. It wasn't a lot. <laughs> it was like. It was like on its last legs when I bought it. So I got a pretty good deal. But good excuse. Good excuse. At any rate. At any rate, we turned it into a nice car over time. And the last thing that hadn't been replaced was the battery. And the battery oh, finally God. died like two weeks ago. And it was like seven or eight years old, maybe longer. Than, I don't know how long it had been in there since I bought it. But anyhow. I end up going to uh, the auto parts store the morning of to get a new battery, which is $200, by the way. I didn't know the batteries cost that much. $200 oh, yeah. for a new yeah, car. Batteries cheap. are expensive, bro. They're not cheap, bro. And they and they install the battery for me. And I'm like, okay, okay, nice. And I drive up to the track. You know, nothing, nothing crazy happening yet. And then I get out onto the track. And, you know, they gave you, like, the basic rundown. Like, hey, don't pass anybody. Like, stay behind the pace car, but, like, keep up. You know, go, to, like, 50, 55 miles an hour. You know, something like that. Nothing crazy. But it's, like, a small track with, like, really tight turns. So, like, I go down to the first turn, and it is abundantly clear that my car is not cut out for this racetrack. Like, nice. I'm, like, sliding up the track. My <laughs> tires are squealing. Ooh. And I'm, I've am i backed it down to, like, 30 or so. Within a lap, I can't even see the pace car anymore. I'm oh, like, nice. oh, man, I'm holding up all these guys and these big muscle cars behind me because they can't pass me. And I'm just, I just feel bad, you know? I'm like, man, these guys came here to have fun with their cars around this racetrack. I got to at least try to go fast, right? So I get up to, like, 50 on the straightaways. Again, nothing crazy. It's 50 miles an hour. I get to, like, the third lap. And then I cross the finish line and I'm like, huh, that's funny. It sounds like when my car hits 50 miles an hour that like it's struggling to shift into the high gear. Like, oh, like it's no, not shit. getting all the power put down. Oh no, I think I know where this is going. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just take it easy. You know, I've, I've done all I can. I go down to the next corner. I decelerate. I get to the middle of the corner and I hear boom. And I'm like, what was that? Did I just blow a tire or something? At first, I didn't even think it was me until I went back to put my foot on the throttle. And then I was like, uh oh, I don't I don't hear the engine. Oh, <laughs> oh, and, oh, and then I look up and there is smoke bellowing out from under the hood. And I just oh, stop no. right there at the track. I rip open the car door. I get out. I open the hood. I'm looking for two things. First of all, I'm looking to see if the engine is OK. And I'm looking for fire. Thankfully, there's no fire. There's like glowing red hot wires. But then I look down the corner and sure enough, that freaking $200 battery has exploded inside the car. Was it <laughs> a pre-owned battery or a new one? 
What was that? Was it a pre-owned battery that you got of like a dealer? Or was it like a literally brand a new brand battery? new battery from the That's auto parts? Really, store. really bad. Yeah, Shit, they bro. should do the voltage checks before they. I'm going all mechanical now on this, but they should do like the voltage checks before they install the battery into your car because if. They don't then literally that is what happens that is that's really bad well that was the first thought that came to mind it was like maybe the battery wasn't like like it was like defective or something like that and so then i pull into the infield where i get like four guys to come out and like push my car around the track into the infield and it was kind of cool i get to stand in the middle of the infield take some pictures take some video watch cars go around but had to get a guy to come tow the car all the way back home which was miserable yeah. <laughs> and but there was an update to this story today apparently my mechanic who knows the manager of the auto parts store called them up and found out that the battery was not installed correctly oh, so they dear. auto Hello? parts store is covering all of the the repair fees plus the tow truck fee which i am so thankful for w Let's yeah go. That's a big w. W. but I mean, you're, yeah, it was still like pretty bad, but W nonetheless. I mean, like it could have been, it could have been a lot worse. First of all, the car actually caught fire. We've been in a heck of a lot more trouble, but thankfully it didn't. And uh, the first thing I thought when I got out of the car, I was, I mean, obviously I was bummed because it's like you, you never want to blow up your old car, and you also just <laughs> don't want to pay all that money, right? And I was just like, well, at least I have a heck of a story to tell people now. <laughs> wow. So. Looking on the bright side at the very least, but thankfully they are going to cover all the repairs. So that's the that's the end to my eventful week so far. Well, Cures thank God awful. you're okay because honestly, yeah. those situations are very very dangerous, man. Yeah, I posted the clip on on Twitter and people were like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm just kind of bummed about my car." <laughs> you know, it's funny. I saw that and I thought it was a joke. I don't know. Oh. Why. I legit thought it was the way you, the way you, you made the tweet. Like it's, it looks like you were so nonchalant. You're like, oh, you know, just here this raceway and my car, you know, almost blew up. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna tweet out next week and be like, guys, I had to get my leg amputated. And Zach's gonna be like, oh, funny joke, JPR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. But yeah, that uh, that was the whole saga. The most embarrassing part was like the guy pulled up in the pace car, like the next lap next to me, and I just, I'm so embarrassed. It's like, hey. Sorry for blowing up on your track. <laughs> like, like, what can I say to him? You know, he's like, all right, I was gonna it's get not your guys. fault though. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah, I'm. I'm literally just looking at the tweet now. It's like, just blow up my car driving around a NASCAR track. Ask me anything. I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, he's what? fine. It must be a joke. <laughs> like, that must be some other guy's <laughs> car or whatever. Like, no, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was actually blown up. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Anybody else got some cool stories from this week? Or not so cool stories, depending on the point of view. <laughs> nah, just regular uh, stuff. Just been working in the office, bruh. And uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. Well, actually, Raph, you got canceled on Twitter a little bit. Want to talk about that? What? Did I? I'm it's kidding. Not that time, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was talking about you know, you know, some of the people were like commenting about like your latest video, stuff like that, like some of the funny stuff. Oh yeah. Like... <laughs> okay. Well, basically, cut a long story short. For the for the for the context, I made I made a tweet the other day talking about how um, many people think Pokemon Journeys um, might have ruined Dash, and then everyone's like, where, where, where? And I'm like, I'm trying to go through getting all this information because people are coming up to me saying, Raph, have you heard this? Have you heard this? And I'm like, first of all, it's a different time zone. Second of all, you're telling me all of this, and you haven't provided any sourcing or information for me to read what you're talking about. So I've done all the manual searching, I found the interviews, it turns out it was just two interviews that were mentioned from before, but everyone was just like, getting hyped up and over-exaggerating about the new title, I'm trying not to make this an Anipoke podcast, but about the new title in regards to Ash and Go embarking on their next journey for episode 136. Made the video, explained everything. Half the people were like, oh, thank you very much for the clarification. Other people were like, oh, so what was the point of this video then? So pokemon journeys haven't ruined ash and i said i never said that they ruined ash like you people need to learn to read and understand things in the moment and just wait for clarification but yeah apart from that all good if my if my twitter social experiment from a couple of weeks ago proves anything is that people don't read <laughs> they do exactly. exactly that bro they all don't they read. Do is just read and they, they know they're gonna read. get the clarification they know i'm gonna try my best to explain everything for them and Thankfully, I'll probably say 95% of the people understood that. So, yeah. 
Which I will uh, say, I underestimated Twitter. I thought I was going to get canceled after trying to give away my socks. But no, what? I just lost. I lost 200 of the thousand followers that I gained. Dang. But... Wait, did you? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's still not a bad. I've, I've been bleeding followers this month, but you know, I'm still, I'm still in the greed. I'm still in the positive. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're just mad. They got caught, bro. Like, like at mean... first, at first I started to <laughs> no, feel bad. I was, like, I was like, maybe I should actually give away the game because so many people. No. Like and then I was the like, only nah, one? that's on them. <laughs> Am I the only one that done an actual real? giveaway then probably i guess hybrid is doing one but this man's left so what's the point uh, <laughs> he's like i'm gonna do a giveaway like, never mind i'm going to leaves, India. leaves. He, he comes back and he's, he's like damn it why haven't i hit 100k yet he's like oh no giveaway then Jeez. poor guy actually wait how far is he off i think he's only off this man's like 300 stuff. subscribers away or something 200 I'm now less than that there's Bro, 200 away, and he was like, uh, "Never mind, I don't want to upload anymore, guys." I would have postponed India just to hit the 100k, then left. All right, there's 179 people watching the podcast. Right Everyone now. If subscribe. You all, to hybrid. If you all go sub subscribe to Hybrid, he'll be like right there, basically. I mean, I'm assuming half of you guys are like already subscribed to him, but but go subscribe to Hybrid. Yeah, I mean, and the games are out already, so if you're not subscribed because of leaks and spoilers, you, you can subscribe now. It feels good. If It's weird seeing the, the Hybrid first, Hero video show up again. The first podcast where we could actually be nice to Hybrid and he's not here. How fitting. <laughs> cool. if, you're, if you're listening or if you're watching this back, we appreciate you, bro. But I apologize for my delayed completion of the game. I don't apologize I, for shit. Yeah, I had a I good just, time. I, I was wanting to, <laughs> to host his last podcast before he went to India to talk about Scarlet and Violet, and then uh, Jaleel and Raph were finished with the game. So yeah, yeah, right. I was, about that. I was taking uh, my sweet time. Bro, I was I was trying to play as quickly as I can, and then like work, and then just trying to edit some stuff in between that. I really got that stuff out, so I was like, ah. I don't I, I don't know how people make tier list content. By the way, Shiny, you're a real one. I hate making tier list content, man. I, like, my, my newest video is probably, like, my most disliked video since, like, the Ashes Ultimate Team thing I uploaded, like, six years ago. <laughs> people people do not... They, what they'll do is they will not listen to any of the justification. They'll just skip to the very oh. end of the final tier list. They'll be like, what do you mean Tinkaton is only an A tier? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring See, something up now, actually. Because I, I actually... I made a tweet yesterday saying, right, so... Seeing as enough time has passed now, Karaidon is better than Maraidon, right? And oh my god. No, that facts. Tweet, that, <laughs> apart yeah, from I, it being, I saw apart that from it being facts, Apart from it being facts, that tweet, I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm very glad that I muted it because she heached. If, if, I tweet, if I tweet anything that is like above freezing level take, if it's like a 33 degrees Fahrenheit take, I will mute that immediately. I don't want to see what anybody has to say. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not putting these tweets out to start a conversation. I'm just putting them out there. <laughs> Bro, I would make a tier list just to get people mad. Just like purposely put Sir Legend D on purpose. Dude, put Ticket Ton in the same, bro. I'm like, yeah, this is, and I'll explain like a really good reason on why it's there and just go about my day. Just, I just think I've nicely. only ever made one tier list into a proper video concept, and that was talking about my opinion on all of Ash's Pokemon up to Gen 6. And wow, people's responses were. You know, like, for goodness sake, we're all open to our own opinions. And at the very beginning, we say, this is our opinion. You know, this is what we think. Of course, everyone else is They don't able hear that to... part. Everyone's yeah, brain is wired to, like, completely yeah. ignore that part. They skipped we are 35 breath. minutes in to see what your opinion was. Bro, that's <laughs> why, like, in, like for the past, like, Crazy. two years, when I make a video, I, I think I stopped just saying, like, this video is my opinion. So keep in mind that like, no one gives a shit. You can no say that, they're still going to fucking hate you. <laughs> That's just that's just us talking for next to what, if, five if you, seconds. If you make tier list content and you're able to endure the the pure amount of hatred that the internet gives you, then like Godspeed, you deserve my respect. But man, I can't do it. I'll drop one tier list video a year and I'm out. I'm not doing it anymore after that. <laughs> Safety first, John. Safety first. We get That's you. That's right. But before we get into the main topic, we have a few more donations to go over. Mass with the 199 saying, what is y'all's favorite fan game slash word Nintendo doesn't want us to say? <laughs> uh, I really like Pokemon Gaia. I think that was a really, really good one. Uh, obviously, Ash Gray. That's a popular one, too. Uh... I haven't played a ton. Light I didn't platinum. light platinum. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's probably the best. That's one a popular played. one. That's, that's a, a really good one. I lost I... my save file. 
I would also say, even though I didn't finish it, Xenoverse is like pretty top tier. So. I heard a lot about that game. Is it really? Bro, is it good? Top tier. You, if you, if anyone likes Skull Villain for whatever reason, that disgusting Pokemon design, hey, hey, there's hey, a hey, way hey, better hey, Pokemon hey. in that game. You'll love. You'll love it if you like Skull Villain. Right? But yeah, Jeez. that game is like plot wise, really good story, really good selection of Pokemon, old and new. They even bring in some like of the the old like Pikachu, Pichu Pokemon you can actually catch. It's like a like it's not a spoiler, but there's a section of the game where like it goes back to like the red blue graphics like it's it's really what? weird how they did it it's actually cool as hell that damn actually does sound amazing. And i didn't know i didn't know jaleel again. was gonna be the leak man today no i'm kidding yeah That's cool. <laughs> and jaleel just outed himself as one of the people who disliked my video because i put scoville in an a tier <laughs> uh, here's the thing it's crazy. Did, did the video. i have it in my watch later but either way it's bro it thing is that 300 bad. listed watch later it, bro, it's it's at 247 now. Thank you. Oh, he's shaving let's, it let's off. Check, let's, <laughs> check mine, let's check mine. Let's check mine. Let's check mine. Because you know, Raph is at 900. <laughs> 998. Oh, close, bro. 991. Jesus Look at that. Christ, bro. And you're never <laughs> going to watch those. It's not even a watch but, later but, list. But you know what it is? It's, it's a majority of music. It's basically music that haven't moved into another playlist. It's so. not a you watch should... later. It's a watch never list. <laughs> you should, you should just watch... make a private music playlist like I do. That's what I've got, but I've, I haven't moved so many tracks. Some, I'm, sometimes, I'm oh, oh my God, sometimes I've accidentally saved like soundtrack videos to like, like actual playlists <laughs> that I have. But, like so, sometimes well. people, sometimes people will scroll through my playlist. They'll be like best and worst. I'm like, yo, why is the Xenoblade Three battle theme in here? And I'm like, <laughs> oops, oops. <laughs> <Enjoy that. laughs> I went into my Pokemon Journeys playlist the other day, and I found like a cooking video in there. And I was like, okay, let me delete this real quick. Uh, oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna start going to everybody's channel. Let me see what videos they accidentally put in there. <laughs> Uh, um, also, I see Mass dropped, and he said the starters for Xenoverse are amazing. Yeah, they are really top tier, and technically that game has six starter Pokemon, so oh, wow. really good. And also, shout out to Super E-R-A-N-Y, Irani. I, I don't know how to say that. And he said, I'm just mad there was no why the JPR send me socks reaction tweet. Well, hopefully oh. when they get them, they can post that. <laughs> In <laughs> good time, I actually sent the socks, but, you know, we're going <laughs> to scoot past that real quick. Anyhow, let the shackles be released. Let's wait. get the normies into the chat. Wait, you, you missed one. Oh, I did? <gasps> Yeah. Might be, might be Masp, okay. Uh, Masp with the 499 saying, so Wonder Woman 3 is reportedly not moving forward under DC new leadership. What, what does that mean? Is it not going to be the... Go ahead, go ahead, Julio, you know. I'm going to chime in. <laughs> DC man here. How you guys doing? Um, they are already fucking up. Um, just being honest, <laughs> because I saw the, what was the post they, they said? Oh, my goodness. Some, another, oh, the Hawkman. Hawkman's getting a movie. Look, okay, I like Hawkman Bro. and Black Adam. He was cool. Why do they keep giving these C, D, F tier characters movies just because the actor's good? Bro, that's why Marvel did good. They didn't give War Machine a movie right off the bat. Like, what are you doing? Just make movies for the main characters first to set the universe. Worry about them other folks for shows and then potential like collaborative movies. Like, I don't, I just been seeing a lot of stuff. I don't know what's going on, but Wonder Woman. No one liked the second one as much as the first one, so it's it's already on like at a decline right now. Unless the third one pops off, it's so weird. It's like they're trying so hard to not make a Justice League movie. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. I feel like the route's so easy, and, and maybe because maybe it seems easy as a fan, and maybe not as much for like a filmmaker or whatever. I'm like, bro, it, it just seems kind of easy what you guys need to do, but you guys are doing everything to not do it. <laughs> going the routes of like hey well we just like and and by the way black adam technically flopped it didn't make as much as they thought it was gonna make nowhere near so in their eyes black adam was kind of a flop man dwayne johnson's going back into the jungle next year <laughs> <laughs> it's just i mean it made no sense to black adam is a cool character but to do a whole movie with him without shazam even involved in it just seemed kind of pointless anyway it's kind of like making Venom without Spider-Man, but that's besides the fact. And no, that, that one was, last donation. That's accurate, though. Arm, saying, sorry, Rafa, Karadon still looks like a roach. I don't know Damn. what you're talking about. Uh, I don't you know, know about what? that one. I don't y think so. Y'all are just, y'all sorry. Y'all are just so. All right. 
Let's open up the that. floodgates. Let's open the chat. Yeah, yeah, and let's... while we're doing that, let me also just say that we're going to have a new approach to donations from this point on. I know we've been like fiddling with this for the last few weeks, but we're going to have like a designated intermission every 30 minutes to read donations that we may have missed out on. So uh, if you Intimacy. if your donation doesn't get read right away, know that we will read it at 8 o'clock Eastern time or at least around that time. So thank just you. keep that in mind. I'll Thank you to people house. who are instantly donating, though. We'll read it later. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, let's right. jump into the Scarlet and Violet discussion. Fine. Yes, brave. All right. Without so, hybrid. I guess, I guess the first the first layup question, the first layup question, which of the three story arcs was you guys' favorite? Bro, I will go second. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Let's, let's go. All right. You know, actually, since Zach said that, Jaleel, you go first. Oh, <laughs> um, I think easily it has to be like you know the Titans and Arvin story. It it, it yeah. kind of clears, bro. Like don't be wrong, Team Star was fine. The gym challenge is the gym challenge, and there should be some adjustments there. But clearly, Arvin story because when he starts off, I'm like, bro, who are you talking to? I don't I don't know who you who you talking reckless to. By the end, I was like, well, you my friend. We could we could go out to eat together. It, it was it was the best storyline, and of course, we can make a sandwich together. Yeah, like it was he, it, the whole storyline was good, and he had like my massive. Like it was, yeah, the whole thing. I, was I like how I like how literally everyone on Twitter had the same exact reaction, where it's like, I hate this guy in the beginning, and it's like twenty <laughs> hours later, I love this guy. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> it's, honestly, it's, honestly oh, I agree. it's like you understand him as the story progresses, which is mm. awesome. It's like he comes up as an asshole, but he's just you know he's 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 a kid who's had a hard life, who's basically yeah. been alone and just had his dog, and his dog is they fucking collected. dying. Exactly, it I'm, makes I'm sense curious. why he acts that way in the beginning. Is is this all four of our favorite story arc? Then is that? Uh, just I would a... probably say, yeah, um, I, half, I mean, I half, say half and half, half and half. You see, the thing is, yeah, go on, you first, you first. Uh, so it's like I agree. I think the best storyline. I mean, at least like you know, narratively speaking, is the Arvin storyline. But I, I'm I'm gonna be honest, the Titan fights they weren't as challenging as I would like them to be. I feel like I kind of cleared them pretty easy. Like I had a fucking Mankey with low kick that pretty much did most of the work for all the Titan fights. But it was rewarding at the end of each fight, like getting more to Arvin's backstory and him with Mabasta. That was really rewarding. But like doing the uh -huh. the the Titan fights itself, I feel like wasn't nearly as fun i still enjoyed them it's different but like i i kind of wanted more so that's why i'm like half and half because i i enjoyed the team star storyline i feel like maybe just as much because i had fun with the bases sending out three pokemon even though it was pretty easy but i feel like the boss fights were a bit more challenging at least and then also i enjoyed you know the backstory of all the team star bosses and finding out the truth about the team and everything uh the the ending is nowhere near as like uh impactful i feel like it's pretty Actually, obvious that like penny was cassiopeia and everything but i still enjoyed overall i think the the team star storyline was more solid just because gameplay wise i enjoyed that as well while the arvin storyline i just enjoyed the the, the cutscenes with arvin the stuff after the titan fight that gives us more into his character but the titan fights itself weren't as engaging to me than team star fights. yeah my my rebuttal to your point earlier was going to be that i feel like as long as you were on the recommended path that the whole game was pretty easy, I would say, other than the Team Star boss fights. I think they were like a, probably the most challenging aspect of the game. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I think it's funny because yeah. when I when I did it, the first Titan that I did was Cloth, which is that's the first one. But it's yeah. funny because it's weird. There's a recommended path, but it's weird because some of these places is like there's one place that's like far higher level, but it's really close to a low level place. So I think after I did the the team star base with Giacomo. Um, that's the first team star base you're technically supposed to do, but right next to it is the desert. I see fucking Titan Dawn fan over there. So I was like, oh, let me just fucking do that. It's literally right there. <laughs> and then that one, I will say, that was my my favorite fight just because I like I was severely under leveled for that fight. I, I did the exact same thing. I was like 12 <laughs> levels under for a great tusk, and I was determined to beat that thing. <laughs> yeah, that, that felt rewarding. I was like, oh yeah, but it's it sucks that all the other fights um aren't like that. I feel like level scaling would have made things a lot more enjoyable but it's like it is what it yeah, is yeah that's that's probably my biggest gripe with the game overall is that it's like it doesn't fully commit to the open world design i mean like obviously it's an open world game but it's like mm -hmm. they could have pushed it a little bit further maybe if this game had some more time in the oven it's something they could have realistically implemented but it's 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 game freak they always kind of like 
drag their feet when it comes to fully innovating on something you know like they'll go like halfway there and they're like "Uh oh we gotta we gotta keep it like pokemon we gotta keep the same feeling and still gotta be a little bit linear so like i don't know i wish they had pulled the trigger on that because i feel like they could have gone there with sword and shield as well i feel like sword and shield was like kind of structured to be like that but they just didn't pull the trigger on that either and it's getting to the point where it's like a little bit frustrating. And I feel like that's what ultimately holds this game back, in my opinion. But uh, Raph, we haven't heard from you yet. Go ahead. Yeah. See, for the storylines, I definitely agree that Arvin was probably my favorite. I can understand um, the Team Star um, having a much more challenging side to it because I don't know how to pronounce the Pokemon's name. So forgive me if it's wrong. But is it Rev- Revavroom? The- Revavroom! The- yeah, yes. Revavroom. A Pokemon there, like you would hit it and then it would get a massive stat boost. Oh, and then kind of I was right. thinking, like, how am I gonna over overtake this Pokemon? But Rev Room was like a Titan within the actual fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kinda was. That was really cool too because <clears throat> I knew about Room's typing uh beforehand. So when I get to Mela, who was my first uh team star fight when I was streaming the game first for my first time reaction. Um, and I'm thinking like, oh, okay, it's like poison and 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 steel or something like that. But no, like I was caught off guard to find out. Oh shit, they like changed the typings to be the type that the boss, re- um, you know, the boss specializes in, which is cool. And they all have their own unique abilities that Rev Room doesn't have. So they basically modded their fucking cars. You don't know fight, how disappointed really cool. I was that Rev Room didn't actually have any of those abilities. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because yeah, there was one that had intimidate, one that had uh. What's it speed called? Speed boost? boost? Oh my god. Mela's had speed boost, which is Toxic crazy. Toxic debris? Hers, hers was the hardest one for me, because that, that I was, was the first one I took on, actually. Yeah. I just and... kept seeing the abilities, and I was like, this might be the most cracked Pokemon ever. <laughs> I'll get my own. I'm like, overcoat? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Goodness. That's yeah, another I'm thing not... where I feel like level scaling would have worked, but it's like, it's one of those cool things as well, where it's like, because Mela is is literally walking distance. It's so close to the Claw fight and the Brassius fight, which are two really early fights. So you're thinking, oh, they're all around the same level. They're all close to each other. And they were all in the same trailer together. You think, oh, Mela's going to be the first one. She's easy. Cloth was easy. Brassius was easy. No, she's like technically like the fifth or sixth you're supposed to do. Like if you were doing it in order, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, she she took... My team wasn't large at the time, so I think I had like four members. She took everyone except for Crocolar. So that like I was Jeez. like, bro, what is this Pokemon? I'm like, I'm hitting it with everything I got. Tauros is gone. And I'm <laughs> like, bro, this is this is rough. But I, I got her at the end. And I was like, okay, cool, cool. It is what it is. But uh, geez, she, yeah, she was tough. And then I went to go fight the dark, the dark team. What is his name? Yeah, come on. up. Kakamo? Oh, he, yeah, I, I yeah, clapped him. Clapped him. So I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. As for as for the league, Yo, that was we didn't even talk biggest... about the league. <laughs> <laughs> we talked. We talked a little bit about it last week with Gita and how much how disappointing she was. But honestly, it's not even just Gita. It's no. It's probably the so whole Elite Four, minus uh, maybe Hassel. I think Hassel is, like, passable. I guess I guess if we're talking about the, like, are, are we talking about, like, the overall victory road? If we are, overall. I think, I think the gyms that weren't that bad. They I weren't. Think, I think the problem is, is it's, again, it's, I feel like if the levels were scaled, it would be better. But because there's so much to do in this game. You end up being over leveled if you don't do things the correct order. And like for me, yeah. when I played Scarlet, I did. I tried to do every like everything. Like I I was trying to complete the decks. I tried to catch every, while, while catching Pokemon, battling every trainer. I ended yeah. up being over leveled. And then there were some gyms. Like in the beginning, I was on par. But once I went out of the technically correct path, like order to do things level wise, and I, I circle back around to a gym I might have missed or something. I'm extremely over leveled. And I feel like by that point, I think after like three badges, the gyms were pretty easy. Like I, I swept through most of them. I think the one that was a bit challenging, I wouldn't even call it challenging, but like 
was the what's her name the, the fight with rhyme but then you get the fucking boost from the crowd which annoyed which oh, is annoying that ruined yeah, that, was that, and, that, yeah, ruined that fight and yeah it's just like i feel like the gyms were a bit too easy because there's no level scaling like if you want to well, if you fight a, a really tough titan early on then you're gonna be over leveled for whatever gym that there comes is a next. good point from the chat that says like i don't get the complaint about level scaling because like games like elden ring for example have no level scaling in the world and i guess my <laughs> response to, to that point would be that a game like elden ring its combat system isn't really like comparable to pokemon pokemon being a turn-based rpg is that it's like leveling is going to matter so much more and plus pokemon is just in general is always going to be a lot easier so for like for people like me i know it's a kid's game and i know i shouldn't expect to be challenged but I at least want to have like a little bit of brain power put in there. I don't want it to be so yeah. mindlessly easy to where I just click the A button and I win every single battle. Which, yeah. ah, my God. I think I think Pokemon Challenge just summed it up best in his clip where he reacts to this. But when they removed uh, the the set versus shift mode. I hated mechanic, that, bro. I hated it's, that. Like, it's like, sure, you can just close your eyes and mash B and pretend that you're still playing on set. But he, he said it best where he said, Every generation, they make these little teeny tiny changes that aren't like like deal breakers by any mean, but it just makes it a little bit more frustrating and inconvenient for people who actually want a little bit of challenge out of the game. It's like it's it's like the definition of mildly infuriating, you know, or it's like it's not a big deal, but it's it's just enough of an annoyance to where it really rubs me the wrong way. Am I bugging out, or did they also remove move animations to toggle that I think that they off? did. I, yeah, you because can't turn off move animations. Because there was one moment where I was like, right, I want to get through this route quickly. This route, or should I say, this part of the, <laughs> the province. Really quickly, but then I was like, damn. As much as these move animations are cool, I'm not looking forward to seeing Torch Song 50,000 times. I wouldn't, like, get through this and <laughs> get it over with. Oh, I didn't even realize that was gone. Wild. Huh. See, so I get like to go back really quick. For me, the the gym challenge. Zach mentioned this before. It's just so obvious because you know they're going to tear a type into that their their specialized type, which I get because it, it's their specialized typing. But to really add something a little bit in there, I'm like, bro, why don't you like just switch to a different typing? I don't expect like even Brassy is like I understood like you know truly Wudo, bro. You literally have. A rock type Pokemon that could have collapsed my Fuecoco, but instead you turn fire or you turn grass. So I'm just gonna terrestrial fire and just destroy you now. Like it's, I feel like, and it, it kind of sucks because I was like, well, maybe in the rematch they'll yeah. switch it. No, uh, no. <laughs> it is the same thing. Even in Sun and Moon, they wouldn't use their Z move if you resisted it most of the time, yeah. unless they like knew they were gonna get the kill. <laughs> and, like, and you know what's annoying too, as well, like. By the time you get to the Elite Four, they scrap that whole thing. They don't even use a different type Pokemon. They just have the same type Pokemon and terrestrialize it. So what was yeah. it like? I was like, come on, man. Come on. Yeah, I kept I kept waiting to like get to the point where they would have a Pokemon that terrestrialized into whatever would counter your counter for them, basically. So like just... if you're fighting someone who has a grass type and you use a fire type, they terrestrialize into water. I kept waiting for that yeah, to happen bro. like in the late game. I didn't expect that to happen in the early game because I feel like that's a little much, especially for kids just picking up the game. Iono did it right. Iono actually absolutely did it right. Yep. She had like that the, was the best the levitate. One. Best one, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Everyone else, it's like it would have been better if it was the opposite way. It was a a Pokemon that was their type. Like for instance, Brassies had a grass type who terrestrialized into a rock type. That would have been crazy. The, the the funny part is, is even when he you know still having a, a pseudo wudo it doesn't do anything besides trailblaze or trailblaze whatever it's called yeah, right it's does nothing but that move i'm like bro you literally have like rock throw or, or something on that pokemon right like there's just no way so funny I haven't enough actually looked up the the gym leader move sets yet but i know that like in a lot of the newer games they don't even have four moves yeah, so yeah usually, them, usually, usually, give them three. usually yeah. Give them like two or three so i was testing something last night because i i started pokemon violet i was like cool now i've like played the game i streamed it some i'm gonna use scarlet for my streaming copy but i was like let me just have a like personal just play it took me 25 minutes to let i was like i wonder if like nimona can beat me in the like first battle right took me 25 minutes we went back and forth leer and, gro no, and growl dude, i was like bro God. are you serious i was and, like if you don't sweep 
What is going on here? <laughs> and for the record, I just looked it up, and yes, all of Brastius's Pokemon have two moves each. Oh what? my god! Crazy. Yeah. It's like it's like Pokemon has never been a challenging game. Pokemon has always been easy, right? But at least they used to have four moves on every Pokemon. That used to be the norm. Now it's like you don't get four moves till late game. It's that that's what bugs me a little bit. It's like it went from easy to like mindless at what at some point. And like there are the portions of this game change. that are mm. that are decently challenging, like the team star fights. But it's like it doesn't feel like the the difficulty in this game is like distributed the same way across the board. It's you know, it's it's funny no. you bring that up because I want to talk about something right at the very end of the game where I feel like it could have been a much more of a challenge if we didn't get certain help. So. When you're taking on the legendary um, owned by the AI professor, the same we're legendary. We're just jumping that, right into that. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> right. Talk, go ahead, go ahead. When, when, we talk, when we're battling the, um, the AI professor's um, legendary that we have for the game, Penny, Arvin, and Nimona are in the background. You can't use your Pokemon, you can only use your legendary, and you've got all these moves, and you've got the option to terrestrialize. They're literally like saying to you in the background how to win the battle. Like the fight I is scripted, the days. bro. Yeah, it's it's super scripted. And whilst we got to that stage of taking on the professor, the paradox forms, and then now to the legendary, you would have thought you would try to at least maybe see if you can get through it on your own without the character saying, "Oh, you should use terrestrialize, then use a super effective move that will allow you to beat the Pokemon." And I'm like. God damn it, I didn't even know I was going to take on this Pokemon in the first place. And now you're telling me how to beat it? Like, I want to have that suspense. I want to learn for myself. I'd rather lose and then try and win again, for goodness sake. But Yeah, it's, it's like an unlosable fight. In, yeah. that, in that respect, it's kind yeah. of like the opposite of, like, the Volo Giratina thing. Which, again, oh, people honestly, are always like... That people is are always like, example. People are like, Pokemon is always easy. You shouldn't expect any challenge for Pokemon. It's like, we literally just had Legends Arceus this year. And you're going to tell me that, that this game is... Like, you're going to tell me, like, oh, they're all easy. No! True. Did you not do the Volo fight? That's, <laughs> to be that's fair, where, to defend the, the, the last fight, I actually like that because it's like... Like the true final fight is is the one with like against the paradox team. Yeah. When you're fighting yeah. the legendary, that's supposed to be like an anime type of moment where you can finally use a legendary. Like it's a scripted fight that you're meant to win. It's more of a story based fight yes. than an actual like oh you have to try to win this. Like you beat the mm -hmm. game basically after you beat the paradox team. The one after that's like a victory lab where it's like it's just basically a a, a playable cutscene. Think about it like that. Yeah. It's a playable cutscene yeah. where you can finally use your legendary. So that, yeah, it doesn't bother that. me. And with the music and everything, I think it's a really cool moment. Even if it's fucking scripted, it still felt very satisfying to me. Cool. It's a, it's oh, no, a cool definitely. moment. I, I agree. I, I think to also follow up, I know we're talking about the... I'll go back to the gym challenge really quick. I know we absolutely shit on BDSP, right? But we can at least give them credit on the Elite Four. Even though we've replayed, if we played it before, well, if we played Diamond Pearl or Platinum, yeah. right? Even their gym leaders, gym leaders they all hold sense. items. They're yeah. pretty good. So, you know, I, I just look back at everything, right, really quickly. I looked at all their teams. The Elite Four, for one, you can't rematch the Elite Four in Scarlet and Violet, which is dumb, by the way. I think that's stupid really stupid. shit. That better be stupid. added in the DLC, bro. That I, hope been, that, even I hope that, that they didn't have enough DLC. time. Like, it, it shouldn't be DLC, but I hope it's, like, something, oh, we didn't have enough time to freaking script in the game or a rematch, so we added oh, a DLC. I hope that's what it is, because we'll be easy. so fucking mad if you just can't face them again, bro. I want to see Rika well, again. It makes, it makes know, it's kind of Moon's that. Elite Four. They just, like, copy and pasted the same teams and put them, like, ten levels higher. Like, that's all see, they did. And that uh -huh. would have been fine, right? But the at least what I like about BDSP, we shit on this game, but, like, at least they mm -hmm. did that part right. Like, Cynthia was challenging. At least my first run, I think I lost to her, like, twice, and then I, I, haven't, I still haven't beaten her yet on the rematch so no <laughs> are like, you even gonna touch that game again bro <laughs> probably probably not for a very long time but uh but the we thing is everybody I looked... we found the one good thing about beating <laughs> <laughs> so the, the funny when i look back is all the elite four and even when you do the rematches for the gym leaders for bdsp they all have six pokemon ev trained items like we were saying i'm like bro where was this and it's crazy because this gen is looking the most you know set for competitive play and I'm like, you have probably the most like least competitive like Pokemon being used in just the, the battles here. It doesn't Come show on. off a competitive aspect. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't like at all. That's what bugs me the most. Is like Pokemon is such a deep game with like so many layers of things to learn, and the main story does such a bad job of teaching it to you. It only teaches you type matchups, which is like 
by the halfway point of the game, you should honestly have them all down. Like, even if you're a little kid, because I remember when I was a little kid, I had them all down by the halfway point. It wasn't that You're hard. a different breed, though, John. You're a different breed. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that might trip you up is like, oh, man, Bug beats Dark? Who would have thought? Like, <laughs> yeah. um, But I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, again, like BDSP, like like Flint, when Flint uses the, the minimized baton pass drift limb into the Rock. focus sash in Fernape, I was shooketh. I was like, <laughs> yeah, this is how you actually design a Pokemon fight. This is really good. That's the only time you hear me say that about BDSP. But yeah, Bro, continue. I feel like is- with the three with the three storylines the the gym challenge which you think should be the best one because like it's the one they've done for eight gens basically they should have gotten this down by now i feel like it's the one that suffered the most with this being like an open world game and stuff like that like no level scaling the they're giving them less than four moves not no real strategy and like the the league this might be the worst league like i'm not even kidding and it, yeah, it sucks I- because i really like all, like all the elite four characters like as characters i think they're great but as like a fight to the finish it it, it doesn't feel climactic at all it, it, yeah. I, I breezed through that like i think hassel gave me the most challenge and i still beat him pretty easily and he and even the champion which is like stupid even the yeah. league building is so boring it is <laughs> pretty I feel, like, base, bro. I feel like for how we meet the elite four or at least rika and um hassle during the storyline you'd think they would be probably like maybe give you a bit of a challenge you know you get to learn about their character and then when it comes to the fight especially even with like the dialogue like rika was like oh i'm not gonna back down i'm gonna give you a fight that i'm gonna beat you at and you know you meet her just prior to obviously doing when you're when you're doing the champion assessment so you've had all this like like not full I did love like the job interview. Up. I did love the the job interview. That was yeah. Cool. <laughs> it was a nice yeah. Got me thinking. Got cool. me thinking. Bro, cool. real quick, real quick tangent. It's not tangent. It's actually related. Doing the interview when I first did it, and she actually what gym leader would give you the most challenge. I picked Larry, and I lost my shit when Larry came out, bro, because it made me think. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thought this, but if you pick Larry and Larry came out as your next challenge after Poppy, you probably thought, "Holy shit." I, I made this happen. I gave him yeah. a promotion. Oh, I lost my shit, bro. Oh, my God. Really cool moment. That would have been hype. That would have been hype. That was actually really cool. That was so fucking hype, bro. It, honestly, for me, I didn't even pick Larry. It was just hype that Larry showed up. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yo, like the that. best team leader. He's back. <laughs> That was so funny. All right, okay, continue, continue Raph. Raph. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, well, I was just trying to remember what I was going to say. Rika. About Rika. Yeah, so like for Rika, you get all this build up, you know, her inter... No way. Hi, Brid. He's on that Indian Wi-Fi. Hello? Yep. Y'all really tried to do this podcast without me, eh? No <laughs> way. I'm sorry, sir. You're a locked it's character really- on the screen now. Y'all motherfuckers really try to do this shit without me. Zach, what'd you tell me I left? Don't worry, hybrid. We'll do this. We'll be- make sure to do this once you come back. And all I hear is John's like, sorry, hybrid. We're doing this one with I, I tried. I'm not the one in charge of the podcast. You <laughs> still made it. Real quick, because I don't we don't God. know how much time you have le- you have with us. Um say the thing that you told me in the voice note, because I didn't I didn't mention it yet. I don't know which thing you're talking about because we spoke for hours. Raph. Oh <laughs> Raph. Rough. <laughs> How was the ending of the game, my guy? I liked Ruff. it a lot. Rough. Yes. Did you did you know of the plot twist before you get into the ending? The plot twist. What about the spoiler about the professor? Yes, sir. No, I didn't Cause... watch. I I got okay. spoiled. I'll be up front. I got spoiled from <laughs> yeah, the no, by Nick Selly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got spoiled about the Let's... thumbnail from Excelli, but I didn't watch it obviously, and that's what I was just talking about now. Oh really? Okay, yeah. okay. No, because I, I told Zach, I'm like, Zach, on my on my behalf, you have to ask Rap. Because I'm like, I knew Jaleel, John, and Zach all did not get spoiled. I made sure. Yeah. When Jaleel was like, this is why don't, I, yeah. <laughs> don't go anywhere because I'm like, oh shit, that's a crow. Oh fuck. What the hey d- bro. I need you to get off. Oh, sorry. I'm in Sing. Okay, I'm gonna mute myself. Hold on. I'm in Singapore right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's going on? He's, fa- he's, he's fighting, fighting crows, crows right now. <laughs> anyway, while Hybrid is muted, uh, it is eight o'clock. So let's let's uh take a little yes. bit of a break and read some donations real quick, shall we? All right. Mass with the four ninety nine saying, Zach, Raff, and Infamous. Where do you rank the Xenoverse starters? Uh, I don't think those two have played. Uh, and honestly, I don't the, remember. I've seen the photos because Mass sent it to me. But he also sent them to me. 
I've uh, seen them. They look cool. I don't know if what I ranked them. I like. I, I only really looked at when, them for a little bit. When we play the when we play the game, we'll be able to answer that. So yeah, I gotta first. beat the game first, bro. If, <laughs> if Nintendo, if you're listening, I don't play fan games. We don't do those things here. What, he's, what's a he's fan talking game? About Dragon Ball Zetoverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Gohan, right? We also got a 4.99 from Is a Legendary. Thank you very much. No message, but thank you. Uh, we got five from Navy Blue Suicune says, hi, champs. Navy here. What are your hopes for Pokemon going forward? I want a new Gale of Darkness slash Coliseum game in general. Oh, they never Good will, job. but that would be fucking awesome, be bro. Oh, choice. my God. Dude, Maybe not Coliseum. I don't really like Coliseum, but XD peak. When they when they expand like the Nintendo online like pack, if those those games have to be on there. If they're not on there, that's the biggest L Nintendo will ever have for the online service. And they've taken a lot of L's with the online service. That's gonna be a big L. <laughs> L's on L's. Oh, I forgot. Actually, this this uh this circles back to a previous uh question we got uh about the about the the, the ROMs. Uh, but there's there's uh <laughs> there's this one called Pokemon XG, which is just like it's literally XD, but you're playing with like Game all Boy the graphics. moves up to up to uh, Gen eight, oh. and also all the abilities. Oh, so I think like, I, I think I heard of it. Is yeah, it like a lot of the teams GBA, or is it like actually like XD, just like updated? No, you're you're just playing XD. It's you're playing XD on the on the GameCube. GameCube. Oh, <laughs> but, you, but you got dazzling gleam, <laughs> mischievous there. Yeah, you got like dazzling gleam Sheesh! and stuff like that. Yeah, Yo, and, that's, and you that have like physical, nice. you have physical special split as well, which is very nice. Interesting. Um, Dang, that sounds tempting. I I'm not gonna play them Nintendo, but if if I were to play them, <laughs> I probably will. Navy, to answer your question, <laughs> I want I want Mystery oh Dungeon my. Sky Deluxe, and that's a judging given. judging that's by the given. fact that, that uh, Nintendo just took down a lot of the PMD OST today, and it, maybe it's in the works. Let's go! <laughs> what happened? Yeah, no, right? Ninten Nintendo's been like like shutting down more channels to upload the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon soundtrack, so... I'll start downloading them now, boys. Things on the horizon. <laughs> just, wow. just don't give her a Pokey Remix Studio, please, God. That's a, oh, that's yeah. a legend please out there. God. Yeah, yeah. What about you guys? Yeah. What, what's your biggest hope for this gen? Uh, fix, fix this game's frame rate. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, basically, that too, bro. That too. And honestly, I'm open to whatever, so... Just, I just, just hope... Good games. Yeah. DLC, uh, either, like, Southern Kalos or just, just more places for us to explore i think that that'll be really nice that's no, it right. and fix yeah like julio said fix the frame rate devin knox with the 10 says can we all agree that they need to a let us use boxes and picnics up the egg count in the basket to 30 and c for god's sake let us have a mass release button and let us release eggs well that is just getting rid of children before it's quality born. of life. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? It's all? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to start up that discussion. Okay. Oh my never goodness. mind. Never mind. Let's steer back away from that. Anyhow. No, but legit, I, we actually, should have a mass release button. I don't know why they took that out. Well, it, there is one in Pokemon and, Home. In Pokemon and, and Home, but home. Home, home ain't even like, accessible yet through Pokemon. Through Scarlet and White. A, why did they? A why did they put that? Like, move Pokemon, so there should be one. Why did they the put X. that in Home and also the GTS in Home, but not in the actual base game? It's putting it's the so GTS in Home is the stupidest thing ever. Bro. Wait, you I mean, tell me I can't trade globally in, in Scarlet and Violet? No, you have to go Pokemon Home. I mean, you can trade globally, but, like, you don't have, like, the actual GTS where you can, like, request a certain Pokemon. Damn. You have surprise yeah. I did not trade. know this. Yeah, yeah it, it, wasn't in, it wasn't in Gen 8 either. Why did they, uh, why did they change one to trade to surprise trade? What was the, what was the difference there? That, I don't think there is a difference. It's just a rebranding. Wonder, what are you yeah. wondering to get? Surprise is going to be surprised. Wonder trade got canceled Ooh. from all the Wonder Locks on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that might be it. Maybe. I will I will agree with um definitely the picnic thing for sure because like it feels it feels so weird because like they have this quality of life upgrade where it's like the you get eggs from the picnics instead of the daycare, so you can get eggs wherever you want, but they automatically go to your boxes and not your party, and also you can't ride Karidon when you're picnicking. So you it's this weird thing where like you have to start a picnic, get five eggs, then Stop the picnic, go to your box, get the eggs out, ride around, hatch oh, them, and God. then start another picnic. And it feels just really weird and disjointed and honestly just feels like more troublesome than the old daycare system. It's like they made a quality of life upgrade, but like they didn't like 
think it through the whole way. That's my yeah. biggest problem. It sounds like it's much more tedious now for what you're actually trying to do compared yeah. to... Honestly, more than anything, I just want them to, like, let us skip the freaking egg hatch animation. You can do it in Pokemon Go. You can do it in Pokemon Masters. Why can't you do it in the main games? It's like, if I'm a pseudo-methoding or something, I want to skip the This guy said Masters. Like, what what correlation, bro? You know they don't. Masters has voice acting. Does Scarlet and Violet have it? Nope. Yes. That's yeah. a whole nother bullet yes, point right yeah. there. Yo, that's <laughs> so something that's we need to talk about. That's bro. a whole nother bullet point. Oh, oh I'm sorry, man. I didn't look at the topic list. I didn't expect well, to be yeah. here today. <laughs> All right, let's finish these uh, donations and we'll get, All right. we'll get back into Jesus it. All right, from Jesus Gomez. I'm assuming that's Jesus and not yes, Jesus. Yes, not, not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm like the only one who enjoyed the Elite Four. Fought them under level 52 to 53. Played on set rules and no items. Each battle left me two of three Pokemon alive. Well, good for you. Really? That's Jesus. cool. But see, here's the thing I is, did the, I did that's... the same thing, and I only lost Pokemon to Hassle. <laughs> Play, uh, playing on set rules, I, I, I don't like it because, yeah, like, you know, John said this earlier. Yeah, you could just press B, but it's like, it, it's you're intentionally going out of the way for the like of the way the game wants you to play like i like i in the beginning i was like i'll just play set mode but it was just annoying just pressing b and then taking damage and going like switching out when like the game already gave me the option to switch and i already know what's coming out i just feel like a dumbass like oh let me just stay and take this hit on purpose it's so yeah, fucking it's so stupid eventually i just gave in i was like fine i'll just switch because it's like it's not the same like uh, as just giving you the option to actually not know what's going to come out and be strategic. Instead, I just feel like a dumbass just like just staying there. I would I, I would literally know. cover the screen with my hand so I couldn't see what Pokémon was coming in. <laughs> yeah. I, at, at that point, the game is just making things inconvenient for you. Like I just feel like uh it's just it, it's annoying, but yeah, hey, I more agree. power to you for doing that, I guess. For sure. Hmm. And we got two more. It looks like actually nope. They just loaded in. There's uh there's three more I think. All right, now's yeah, the cutoff. More. Any any more after these? Yeah, any more after we push into eight thirty. All right, shiny says champs. What are your favorite paradox mons? I'm going with Great Tusk. Oh, actually no, I'm going with Salamence. I'm going with uh, Roaring, Roaring Moon and Slitherwing. Everyone. Yeah, there's exactly not different. a single person that doesn't like Ro Roaring Moon. Yeah. Like it's you were right, Hybrid. That is the single best like version exclusive right there. It's yeah, a really good like one. that was the game changer for sure. Iron Valiant is I also think, pretty cool, but it doesn't. It's mm -hmm. nowhere near the same tier as Roaring Moon, Moon, in my opinion. I think Iron Valiant. Uh, did you see it in action with the sights and all? I think it, I don't know. It's pretty cool. It, it, it's really really cool. I, I haven't seen these animations yet. You haven't seen them. That's what makes a difference. Sorry, go ahead, John. Yeah, Masp says y'all should play Pokemon Glazed and Soul Stones. I've heard those are pretty good. Nathan Lalonde says, I'm hoping for Universe Remix in Gen 9, but that probably won't happen. I'm I'm thinking probably Gen 10 at the rate that they're going. It'll probably be yeah. Johto stuff in Gen 9, if I had to guess. Yeah, I feel like they, they have to remake Johto. Sorry, Julio. <laughs> Johto's just, the last just, region that needs look, a remake right now, and look, then it'll be Unova. Look, do you guys... Make you make it again? I'm shitting on that game. Unless it's really good. That has to, but that's that's a lot because you know I'm not the Jodo. If they make guy, Legends so. Jodo, I'm all here for it. Like Legends. If it's, it, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If it's, yeah, definitely. If I see Let's Go Jodo, it's done. I'm losing it. Every time I talk, I'm going to like just talk shit on the game. If it's Legends, it's uh, fine. If it's Let's Go, it's I over. I don't want to Let's Go. <laughs> what if it's like if, Hard if, Gold Soul Silver in the style of BDSP? It is no, shit no, too. It is shit. <laughs> I, I want you. I want everyone in chat to know if it's not Legends Jodo, then you're gonna see Jaleel become the new distant kingdom of bro, uh, Jodo. I <laughs> want shit on the game so bad, bro. It, if it's Legends, then I, it, I'm definitely more open to it. But I guess, Wait, I guess, using the previous donation as a springboard, we don't have this as like an outline topic. But uh, what did you guys think about the paradox mods? Because I shared my thoughts with Hybrid and also in my tier list video. My general thoughts about the paradox mods are that I think the ancient forms are way cooler and more creative, but they chose almost all the wrong Pokemon. Yes. For it. Other than Don Fan and Salamence, I thought the rest of them were like flops. But the Pokemon they chose for the future forms were all amazing. They were all so cool. But the future forms, I feel like, are just way more boring. They all yeah. become robots. They don't they hit as them. hard yeah. as, like, the, the ancient forms. Like, the ancient forms yeah. are really cool, but it's, like, Jigglypuff. I mean, granted, I do like Screamtail, but it's, like, Jigglypuff, bro. I, I, feel, like, yeah. I feel like Jigglypuff. Yeah. I, have a, I, have a, I, have I was fine with Jigglypuff because Jigglypuff shows that, like, oh, he's cute, but he's also, like, a terrifying monster. If they did, if they did just Jigglypuff, it would have been fine. But throwing in, like, Amoongus and Misdreavus and stuff like that, I was like, okay, you're going too far. 
God. I will I say I like Brute Bonnet I, I, more than was, Amoongus, but like um, it's yeah. Amoongus still. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't like the Magneton, which is still like Sandy Shocks. I'm like, oh, Sandy I like Shocks. Sandy Shocks. Oh, I, I don't, like him. Bro. That should have cool. been a future form. This should have been a future form. Who's 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 actually seen the future forms uh, in uh, Iron Hands in motion? Just, like literally, I haven't seen them awesome. all in motion. I haven't. Yeah, seen I've them seen them in motion. I've just seen them. I've seen the so, statics. You've seen all of them in motion? Yeah, yeah, I've seen them in motion. Okay, so I, I I'm gonna take that like the ancient forms in in static uh, are much much cleaner design wise. They're better, but in motion. I think all of the future forms are way, way better. And that's what sealed the deal for me. Because Deli Bird, I'm like, I don't care about Iron Bundle. What the hell is an Iron Bundle? But then I see this guy move. I'm like, this is hilarious. I love him. Yeah, he, he's, he's awesome. so good. The way he he's shoots so water, good. like, that's really cool. Yeah, and his head just springs out. I'm like, bro, this this is creative as hell. Though, so, yeah. To, to add on to that, I haven't seen it in motion. But I think one of the dumbest, like, Future paradox form ones is Iron Jugulus. Oh my god, that is no the difference. worst one. That is There's actually the no worst difference. One. It's and literally is just it, what is a Jugulus. Well. It's literally a Jugulus is like throat or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. Iron oh Jugulus is literally just he's just a metal Hydreigon with the worst typing and stats yeah. as well. Like it at least just, the other future forms, obviously they're all robots, but like they have some cool design elements and stuff like that. Like iron hands, like the like the Hariyama's hands are like floating out, kind of like a haunter. Sort yeah, of thing. yeah. But R- iron Jugulus is literally yeah. just fucking Hydreigon, but he's flying. He's dark flying now instead of he's dark a dragon. It, it pains point, me to say he's probably my least favorite of all the paradox Pokemon. Yeah, he's such a cool Pokemon. It's like just the, really. The I think uh, for me it's like brute bonnet or something because like a Hydreigon. The only thing that's redeeming about it, I think it's his dex entry where it's like it basically had sex with a robot. That's weird though. It's like oh, it doesn't that's make sense. That's it makes it worse. Yeah, <laughs> like, it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> make no, sense. That is that that it doesn't no, but paradise forms in general don't make any sense. But I think that like that one is it's it's just a funny dex entry to me. I don't get it, but the fact that Pokemon even decided to put that in there was like wow, hilarious. Uh, that just wow. me. Yeah, why don't you like Iron Hands? I agree. Harry was kind of weird. I guess. <laughs> but like, I guess. I guess we'll transition no, 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 I, from yeah. from this into what were our teams? What What were the teams? Who wants to go first? Hybrid, you're you're still here. You go first. What was your final team? My final team. The first time I played through, it was uh, Skeleton Urge, Arboliva, Bexcalibur, Low Kicks, uh, Veluza. Who the hell am I missing? I'm missing somebody. Well, there's always remember. one. There's always one. <laughs> no, it's there's one. always one. I swear. There's always that what? one. Blue's- oh, Claude Sire. That's why. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to use. Yeah, I wanted to use a one cross gen Evo, and Claude Sire was there. Definitely the. Uh, yeah, All definitely right, the one. Zach, go. Oh, you're six. All right, my six. You got the boy Palafin. You already know. Oh my, yo, he was legit the ace of my team, bro. The goat. Um, I had Armor Rouge, really solid as well. Kilowattrel, bro, he's so good. He's so fast. I love him so love much. Him. Annihilate, also really, really solid. Another Dude, goat, Tinkaton. Gen Evo. Oh, hell yeah. Ever. I, I, I think best crush on Evo ever, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. possibly. possibly. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. The fan favorite, Tinkaton, as well. She, she also carried. She was also a goat. And then, got to give it to the best middle evolution starter, Florigato, holding that Everstone. Because there ain't no way he turned to a Meowskarata, bro. I want you to know, Zach, I, I had this team laid out for myself as well. And I, I seen Zach post that shit. And I'm like, no fucking way. I think this is a classic team, bro. When Mystic Umbran posts best team for Sprigatito, don't be surprised if it's this team. This shit goes crazy. <laughs> yeah, like the, the typings balance each other out really well. You got fire, psychic, electric, flying, ghost fighting, fighting and ghost. grass dark itself is like, yeah. Water, fairy, all... steel, and then grass. Oh my God. Really good. I, I will say I was very heartbroken at Skeledurge becoming ghost because it meant I had to box Grievered. <laughs> no! Every time so this guy sad. sent me a screen preview, I'm like, John, you need to get, get, uh, get rid of Grievered. And he's like, no, man, why would I ever do that? I'm like, all right. All right. I didn't know. I didn't know. All right. I know, man. I know. I know. But I knew you were going to be heartbroken. So all right. Like, let's go. Let's go, Raph. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. So very similar to Zach's team, I had Palafin, I had Kilowattro, I had Tinkerton. Um, I also had a, a Bascalibur, um, Annihilate. Got and it. S- S- I can't pronounce his name. Skeldu- S- How do you pronounce it? Skeldurge. That's it, yeah. But yeah. Um, that team carried me, man. Honestly. I love Excalibur, S- rough. Fucking goaded, right? So, Honestly. Oh Glavio, Glavio, remember, as soon as, I got, as soon as I got the unlock to... Um, 
which was it? Oh, which one was it for? Coridon, I think not the water one. Uh, to fly. As soon as I learned how to fly and glide <laughs> on Coridon, I started skipping all the areas. And bro, as soon as I caught the um, what's his name? Is it Artibax for the? Is it, oh, Fidgibax. 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 That was it, bro. I, I have it's to ask, brilliant. did anybody else start off with the Terra Dark Frigabax at the yes, bottom of the Yes, sir. <laughs> Terra, like, that Terra was like Dark. the one. Yeah. Oh, I, that, I missed it. That one is goaded, because you Terra, bro, for hassle, carried. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, you Where Terra you Dark it? and get crunch. And, In like, the mountain. Yeah. Mm, I missed like it. Just, just, I already had it mine by then. It's like just below the, the ghost oh, type. Oh, I just caught that recently now then. So, it, yeah. It's beside, it's beside a tree. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know what the Terra type was. I saw the thing. I hadn't seen Dark before, and I was like, "What is that? This is like a, like a new Terra type." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was kind of disappointing. The, the, the icon for Dark. I, I, I yeah, it's, it's a little strange. A little strange. <laughs> yeah. like it's just a mean face. <laughs> All right, yeah. Jaleel, what's the team, big boy? All right, we went uh, Palafin, uh, Tauros, uh, just standard Tauros because I. I wasn't fully aware about the other forms, but then I already had Palafin and I had Skelly Dirge as well. So Skelly Dirge was on the team. Uh, I did have Max Caliber as well. So one of the people dropped it for me. Low Kicks and Kilowattro. Low Kicks was, uh, let me tell you, early game. Actually, throughout the whole playthrough, Low Kicks secured his spot and never left my side. So That guy is one of the best revenge killers in the game, bro. Bro, so super good. fun to use. I mean, is it a little fragile compared to the rest of my team? Yeah, but it was still hitting like a truck. That sucker punch go crazy. I I didn't even have sucker punch. My I just kept throat chop the entire time, yeah. and it was it was going through. All right, and my team was brace yourselves. It's crazy. Skeledurge, Palafin, <laughs> <laughs> Kill Watchroll, <laughs> uh, Bex Caliber. Uh, <laughs> this one, this one's off the wall. Rev a room, let's go! Interesting. Oh my god! I, no, what do you mean, gentlemen? Start, a, start your oh, engine. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I expect it for him, but I just I don't hear many people actually using it in their playthrough, though. Dude, he's so, amazing. Yeah, he's so good. His shiny, Steel poison god. Is yeah, I, I got the shiny, and he's boxed up. So. <laughs> <laughs> and my my last one was Great Tusk. Oh, nice. so you actually oh, really? kept it. Interesting. Because you can use it after the, t the Titan fight, right? In the beginning, Although, so. I Wait, just, you can? I, yeah, as yeah, soon as you, you can beat go the, back Titan, to the Titan, you just go back it. to the desert and you can catch like a regular size one. Yeah, no you can go back way. to the Titan. I didn't know that. What the so heck? When you beat the, when you beat the Titan, that Pokemon becomes a static encounter and you can actually encounter it and it has the Titan mark. What? Yeah, the Titan mark and it's the longest size that you can be. So. Yeah, I went back and got all of them. So When I saw he was ground fighting, I was like... My that type of <laughs> typing, bro. Two of the most offensive, best offensive types. I, you know what I did as soon as I caught him? I renamed him Don Fan. I was not calling him that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I thought about doing that too, like just nicknaming them like a fitting name for the past or future version. That's the like, only bro. Pokemon I nicknamed my whole playthrough. I just called him Don Fan. <laughs> you know, now that I now that I know you can actually catch the Titan Pokemon, it's kind of a big miss opportunity that all the Titans weren't just Paradox Pokemon, because that means you can only just get one Paradox Pokemon. Pokemon before the end of the no, game, basically. That in the story wise, the whole point it was like the Dawn fan ones are just like the outcast ones that are leaving Area Zero and everything else. Like I, it doesn't. I feel like, I feel the like they should have. They should have been like one or two more. Like, I feel not like the just last two should have been Paradox ones. Mm, maybe. I mean, there was, maybe. I mean, I liked. I liked the Tatsugiri fight. I feel like you move the Tatsugiri fight up. You make that like the third one. I, get rid of Bombardier. Who cares about that one? No, <laughs> man. Get rid of Orthworm. That guy yeah, was so that was, oh, that was, yeah, that 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 was actually That was actually the worst one. That was the, underwhelming. The, yeah, we had, like, Such an little... odd-looking Pokemon. Like, as well. I feel like the problem is that there, there aren't a lot of Paradox Pokemon. They're just eight. Well, technically seven no, it, in each, in each no, game. It, it, it's, it's technically eight. It's the, that, that's the thing, right? So you have one Titan. The professors use six, and then Karidon and Maridon at the final. So. Yeah, but I'm saying like technically yeah. seven because you don't really get Karidon and Maridon to like the end. Yeah, but but, but like, uh, from yeah, go ahead. If there were like ten in each game or fifteen, right? If there were more, then maybe that would open up the possibility of getting like a few more sprinkled out throughout the game instead of just the one Don fan. I don't know because a lot of these are cool, but it's like realistically, I'm not really gonna use them because they're at the end of the game. 
I'm only going to yeah. use them for like post game stuff or if I want to do Wi Fi battles, you know? They got that diamond and pearl treatment with the like Electivire and stuff like that. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> bro. Also, but they're also too busted to use them. Like they're five. They are. Seven, they are bro. like they're pretty busted. base five seven. Well, especially that one because I think the Titans have like what four or five perfect IVs or something. I heard. I, I, had, to, I had to like pinch myself when I saw Fluttermane stats. I was like, wait, wait, this isn't Faramosa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fluttermane is easily. It, it's the most busted Pokemon in uh, OU right now. I believe. I think that, that pushed to Ubers. That yeah, it did. Damn. There, yeah, there's like six I, yeah. Pokemon that have already been banned this gen, like the first week. <laughs> it's so you, you, do you know? Do you know? I know it's Fluttermane, uh, Palafin, Iron Bundle, a pass that I don't remember, and uh, Houndstone. Oh, which is stupid. Why did they last ban respect, Houndstone and not just ban his move? Yeah, Last Respect does go crazy. That, Dude, I, I love, I I love using Last Respects in the playthrough when I draw. See, it. look, I was gonna catch a creeper and I was like, you know what? Let me let me catch this little doggo. And then like I saw Hounds and I was like, hell no. Back in the box. <laughs> I could not, bro. I I couldn't do it. Shout out to people who like him though, but not could not do it for me. Yo, I don't like Houndstone. I, I mean, it's, it's is, fine, oh. but it's just like it's such a big downgrade from Grievard. Oh, I don't man. like the you, you crimson know. chin, but the rest of it's fine to me. But <laughs> I, I think the addition, yeah, I think it's is, the face. They also went crazy with ghost types. They, if you pick up a lot of these Pokemon, you're overlapping a crap ton. So, it, I was so fighting, many ghost, ghost and fighting absolutely went the hardest of all the types. No, yeah. fire went pretty crazy. Fire, too, ghost, and ghost. fighting, bro. Yeah, yeah. I got spoiled uh, in the chat because some. Some dude or some idiot, because I didn't know. When I first started playing, I was playing blind, and I had Foy Coco on the team, and I also had a Charka there, and I'm like, I want to use Cerule Ledge. Um, but I didn't know what Foy Coco's typing was going to be. And then some dickhead in the chat is like, oh, you're such an idiot. Why are you going to use Foy Coco <laughs> and Cerule Ledge when Foy Coco is going to evolve? When, like, Foy Coco's evolution basically has the same typing. I'm like, thanks for spoiling that, dumbass. Oh Reason my number one hundred twenty-seven. Well, never stream these games on launch. <laughs> like I would have been disappointed, but like uh, not disappointed because it's still a cool typing up. But like I would have figured it out. I still feel like it would have been cool to like, oh shoot, see it. But no, you're thanks for telling me it's gonna be a ghost type. I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh man, but yeah, a lot of overlap will, with I, ghost I and fire. Say, I will, I, I will say between the three dogs. I think Dash Bun got the best. I actually really like Dash Bun. Bro, yeah. I yeah, said this yesterday in, in my chat. It's so funny because everyone loved Fido. But then when Grievard got revealed, oh, we too. all jumped no, ship. No, no. But then, no, no, holy no, no, shit, Ducks Bun, bro. Me, not me. I mean, because you saw the not leak, me. so you knew. No, but no, like... no. I had no, I had no <laughs> fucking clue. I had no fucking clue. I stayed true to the Fido. I, I stayed true to Fido. Shiny, I did ban them. I feel, like, I feel like the only thing with Dash Bun, I wish it had like a, because of what it becomes, I wish it had a special evolution for it. Like a, the method for it's like special. Like, oh, it should be a fire Pokemon in the party. Like just something there. It literally uh, bakes. It literally bakes, bro. You're missed. Like that is just a missed opportunity in my opinion. But I understand basic fairy just, just leveled up and go. Bro, I kept but his doing ability? Like, little, like, ooh. I didn't really saw the little uh like the little twirl thinking he was gonna evolve like uh <laughs> <laughs> like <Alchemy>. a <laughs> Bro, I Not love Dog Spun, bro. He's my fa he's my favorite dog Pokemon this gen now. I think I think all the dog Pokemon went pretty hard this gen. Even Mabustiff. Mabustiff's pretty cool too. Mabustiff, okay, Mabustiff, like let's it. be real. Mabustiff like only went. Oh, went hybrid's quality hard. just dropped. Oh my god. Oh, man's talking to <laughs> I was following well, the boys. During that intermission, I'm going to head off, guys, because I've got to wake up early for work tomorrow. Huh? <gasps> so Look early, bro. Dang. It's nearly two. It's nearly two. Oh, he's going to get up early. He just beans on toast, didn't it? <laughs> he beans on toast. A uh, soul for a soul. Look. We're losing Raph. We got hybrid back, but at what cost? We yes. lost Raph. Some Raph, Raph, Raph give, give your final thoughts. I don't know what you guys went over, but give your final thoughts before you I'll leave. give you my final thoughts. My final thoughts. I really enjoyed the game. I love the story arcs. Um, the only things that pissed me off about it were obviously the glitches and there were some stupid texture problems like, bro, when you're in a battle, for example, and if you're about to fight and if you press A to select your move, all of a sudden, the darkness just turns like proper bright. At least yeah. the shadows are really weird. Yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you guys ever like ran towards a mountain and yep. did the texture mud sliding slide. off yeah. the mountain? It's a mud oh, slide. I hated that, bro. That was the worst. At first, I thought my game was breaking. Let, let, let Raph talk, bro. This guy got to go. <laughs> no, I'll just say another thing that really annoyed me is like when I'm going up certain cliffs um, or parts of the mountain and there's literally just like a small segment at the very bottom that you can easily climb when you're on the legendary 
but they keep jumping back because they can't get onto it. And I'm just like, it's so stupid. Like, it's just a small <laughs> pixel. Like, it's so easy to avoid. I don't get why it couldn't happen. Did you do the but, the backs the backwards jumping climbing glitch? Yeah, go back down and then jump. What are you talking about? When you go back down, and then you jump back up again, and then you can bypass it. There's like a thing where it's like where you're technically supposed He's to like, climb, reverse, but, reverse, but yeah, you do like a reverse jump, 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 and then he can he can like hop over. He basically climbs over it. It's kind of like how you use a uh, what's his name weird deer in legends arceus to kind of cheese your way climbing climbing oh, shit. there's like a little 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 glitch thing that you can kind of do oh, Man, every funny. single time my karaidon got stuck in like a 45 degree angle even after i had like the climbing power i was like no shot this guy's the legendary pokemon <laughs> 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 i was like are you kidding me dude you can't go with this 45 degree incline ah oh, no shot yikes any but last thoughts that, mr ref yeah, apart from that, really enjoyed it. Um, your favorites, right? Say that again. Your your favorite Pokemon game? Yeah, it has it's probably taken over. Yeah, it's just really. I think I think it's just because of the way everything was put together with all the stories. I loved exploring Paldia. Like you guys know, I took my sweet time, obviously, to uh, just embrace everything. Pokemon are really cool. Some of the designs are a bit annoying, but I'll probably come back to that at a later time. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, apart from the, the faults and the glitches, um, I, I wouldn't give it a full 10 out of 10. I'd probably give it like, like an 8 out of 10 or something. But um, for now, it's currently my favorite game. I'm probably going to make a new file and play it again just to see if I can maybe find it. Wait, your favorite Pokemon picks. game's an 8 out of 10? What does that say about the rest? Holy shit. No, no, no. no I'm uh, kidding. It's, 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 <laughs> 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 no, but... Um, no, really, really enjoyable experience. And it was definitely worth the wait after all these years. Yes, take um, that, Diamond. Yeah, beat that, Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> diamond, Diamond, like, flipping was the childhood. This you know, I was gonna I was going to say, favorite game may be a bit far, but then as soon as I realized, oh, wait, it's beating Diamond and Pearl, I was like, ah, oh, never mind. It's actually a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But right, until rough. then, gentlemen, enjoy the rest. And um, I will catch up. Nice talking to you, man. All right. Yes, All right. Nice nice to to See you two weeks, maybe, maybe, I love you. Maybe one day I can finally fulfill a podcast at not these ridiculous times. <laughs> but anyway, take care, boys. Ciao. All right. See you around. Yeah. Hybrid, anyway, 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 you can't anyway, leave anyway. now because if there's three of us left, the podcast is dead. <laughs> I'm not 5% battery, bro, but I'll try to make it work. Bro, oh, like, my I, God. I guess, <laughs> I guess going man. off of, off of uh, Raph's thoughts... There is something that I really want to talk about with this game, and it's not a good thing. It is the state oh. that this game released in. This game released in an inexcusably <laughs> broken state. I mean, I said it last week. I remember when we were watching the, the initial reveal trailer back in February, and they said, coming in 2022, you saw me in the corner going like, oh, no, they can't. And sure enough, they did not. <laughs> oh man, this this game, it's like this it's is like an alpha, actually bro. it's like actually embarrassing. Like you know what? Like if I'm playing this game and somebody comes in the room, I want to turn the TV off. I'm like, don't look, <laughs> don't look. <laughs> I am watching hentai. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> mask, mask. Make sure you clip that, bro. Oh, oh <laughs> take goodness. that out of context. All right. <laughs> but anyhow, anyhow, I'm just like, ah, oh, man, this it it just feels bad. It just feels, and it's like it's such a shame because like the core gameplay loop, I feel like is the most fun it's ever been. I feel like we said the same thing about Legends Arceus as well. There are some other gripes I have here and there. Like aside from just like um, performance issues, where it's like I feel like a lot of the stuff because this game came out so close to Legends Arceus, a lot of like the, the 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 good feedback that they got from that game, like the overworld catching and like just the the general like overall mechanics, a lot of that feedback probably they just didn't have time to implement that in this game because I feel like a lot of the stuff that they did in Legends Arceus, especially when it comes to like traversing the landscape and like throwing Pokeballs and using smoke bombs and and mud bombs and all that other kind of stuff. I think Legends Arceus did all of that stuff so much better than this game did. This game, like even the Pokemon, they don't feel as interactive in the wild as Legends Arceus. In, in Legends Arceus, every single wild Pokemon was either trying to kill you or they were like, 
you know, kind of passive or they would have some sort of funny behavior. And this game, it feels like they kind of sort of have that, but it's like very, very toned down. It's just the Tauros, bro. That's like the most yeah, aggressive Pokemon in the, the whole game. The Tauros and the, the Veluza Tauros in the, the water. water. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I think this, but I think that makes kind of sense for the story. And I think in terms of wild Pokemon interaction, I think this game does it better because Legends Arceus, um, wild Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, wild Pokemon actually didn't interact with other wild Pokemon. It was just you. Whereas they here, just tried they to kill you. each other. <laughs> yeah, here <laughs> they try to interact with each other. And like, that makes sense of the story in Legends Arceus because like Pokemon are more hostile in that time, whereas more they're like, now they're more like I don't know they're you know they're cool we're cooler with people and stuff. That's the whole point of Legends Arceus. I can see I that. Still, so. I still feel like yeah. a modern day Tauros could kill you in the wild, but that's just no, it me. definitely can. I'm not denying <laughs> that. Julio's right. <laughs> Julio right, but like you know, but it, I, I just. just I guess I went a little off topic with that whole last tangent, but the the main thing was that it's like they cannot keep up this yearly release schedule it has gone too far these are not ds games anymore even in the ds era they took their time with some of the releases but it's like with the 3ds games it was already getting kind of clear it's like every single game like starting with x and y it's like x and y it was like perfectly passable there's nothing like glaringly wrong with x and y but it doesn't have like the depth that like we were accustomed to at that time yeah then you get to send a moon and it's like the whole like end of the game is like missing and had to be added on in ultra sun ultra moon and then you get the sword and shield and it's Bro, like and okay, oras now... didn't have the battle frontier yeah oras didn't have the battle frontier then you get to then you get to sword and shield and oh half the pokemon have to go now then you get to this game it's like oh the game is really just not even finished it's like barely <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like when are we gonna get to the point where we're actually just playing like an unfinished beta and we're still paying 60 dollars <laughs> for this like i'm like it has to stop here i hope gen 10 comes out no earlier than 2026 i mean it'd be fitting because that'd be the 30th anniversary but it's like they cannot keep doing these yearly releases they have pushed it to their limit in fact they're beyond their limit i would say i think the limit was with sword and shield they had to stop and they didn't they've they've got to, to take their time it, the, I, the projects I, I, are too big now i have a feeling it will be 2026 to be honest like between a legends game or let's go or a remake or just dlc and nothing i think there's too many i think they can push it to, to and 2026. They, can, they, can. they can space it out too yeah. they can have ilka handle the johto remix and then like nope, instead yet. of no, games, no, no, okay no, well, no, they can have, yeah, they can have some other studio oh no guys the johto remix. i figured it out <laughs> this is how it's gonna be bro this year black and white ilka no, this right. this year okay. we got Scarlet and Violet. Next year is going to be the Correct. DLC year, kind of like Sword and Shield. Correct. The yeah. following yeah. year yeah. is going to be Johto. However, however, it's Johto Remix, but it's just Johto. And the following year, it's canceled DLC. Oh. No, no, no. I, 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 think, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think you're on the right track. I, uh, what I would say it would be um, Scarlet and Violet, then DLC, then Let's Go with Johto or Legends Johto, one or the other. Probably Legends. Um, but I think they're pushing Let's Go as well, so it's a little confusing. Anyway, I would be fine if you didn't. I would be fine if you didn't even have another Johto remake, and if you just had like Legends Johto fill like a sixteen month gap, or like a, I guess a thirty two month gap between um. What, what the hell am I saying? Thirty six 30... month gap. Thirty six month gap. <laughs> no, I. They would not do that. I think it would be so after DLC. It would be Legends and like probably like um. A remake of Unova. Yeah, I would I'm assume saying, that I'm saying happen. 18 months after I don't think the they, they'd revisit like Johto and Unova in the same generation. No, no, no. yeah, I don't, no, I don't think so. Not. Absolutely not. Because also, was, when you revisit Johto, you have to revisit Kanto. So that's four would regions say, I would in say, one say, gen. That's cracked. I would say you could go I mean, 2024 without a game, and then like early 2025, like spring 2025, you have know. Legend Celebi. Or okay, whatever. wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so sorry, John. I mean to cut you off, but I just thought about it. what if they did Let's Go Jodo and Legends Jodo? If they do that, they have to have another studio handle it. They can't do both. They can't. I feel like, then, I feel then, like they can they do just that, separate bro. it by a year. Don't do like BDSP and Arcane. But they were still on the yeah. yearly what? release cycle. Then, then nothing changes. No, because <laughs> the thing is, it's like they Generation 8 was three years. They had 
BDSP and then two months later, Arceus came out. They should do one year a Johto remake, then the next year, Legends, year, Legends Arceus. Yeah. Like, get, uh, like, like, let there be a year gap the point, in between. The point is, the point like is, a complete they're, year gap. They're still yeah. dividing their team and they're still having multiple projects. That, that's one more project on their plate that they normally wouldn't have. That's true. But they're always going to do something each year, though. They have to, whether it's DLC or a game, they're, they're, they're going to want to pump something out for the year. That's just that's, that's why That's why they should just have, they should just have uh they should just have another studio handle the Jota remake not them and then that could be their 2024 game and then their 2025 game could be legend celebi but they cannot they cannot put out a game in 2024 made by game freak they cannot <laughs> i just want to emphasize that i know they didn't do bdsp but they did legends Arceus at the same time there was no breathing room at all so that's true that was kind of that, that, that was the problem legends... that was Go came ahead, out go this year i was like I, I people remind me like wait that game did come out this year it feels like a while ago i'm like damn that shit was just like a few months ago and this know. game was out i was playing there's it. 10 months there's 10 months between uh legends arceus and scarlet and violet and it's like you're not gonna finish either of the games if you put them out that close together if you think it's... about it in the span of one year we got three games yeah Legit November of twenty, what is it, twenty twenty one to November of twenty twenty two? We got three Pokemon games. That's kind of fucking crazy. Yeah, they need to pump the brakes. They absolutely they, they should. Need to they the should slow it down. Because it's like again, every generation, this problem of the games being unfinished is getting worse and worse. Like they Pokemon can't. Company won't let it though. That's the thing. So like, I'm trying to find like a feasible. You, like Zach said, I think, I think their excuse is right there. They just wait till 2026 so they can hype the 30th anniversary and they have this big marketing yeah, campaign. Yeah. Like it's and, a 30th and anniversary. And that would make sense, but it's like, like I just don't see them having a year where they don't push something out, where they'd be DLC No, 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 that's, 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 that's like... where I'm saying it. That's where I'm saying they should put the Johto remake made by oh. a different studio. Okay. Yeah. And I think, I think now that Nintendo has been like, you know, these games do suck. Yeah, you guys can take a refund. I think. Yeah, because now Nintendo has taken notice, and they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. "Yeah, this is not good." <laughs> so I, th I, I think 2026 is very, very viable, and I'm, I'm on the, th I'm, I'm gonna like <laughs> just to say, it, put it out there. I think it will be 2026 for Gen 10. I think this will be the first four year Gen, and I'll be cool I, with it because Gen nine, Gen nine currently is kind of a slapper. It just started, but it's right now currently a slapper. Let's see how it goes. I think yeah. I think if they keep doing like these downloadable raid battles, kind of like they did with Sword and Shield, yes. they have VGC around for a long time. The shiny hunting in this game is really good. This yep. game will stay alive longer than most Pokemon games. Will, it it, it is the most replayable Pokemon game, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. And um and then and like, like DLC real, uh, with more Pokemon being available, maybe they'll have like they'll do what they did with the Sword and Shield where they had the DLC and then they'll probably release like the full game including dlc and hopefully a graphically better version than this one just like with a few tweaks by then then i feel like that'll be really solid for this oh speaking of graphics i wanted this up earlier um do you guys think a switch pro is coming because i know the issues mainly is with the game but there have been people who have used emulators and the game went smoother on emulators than it does on the switch so i think there is a fault with the switch i may be mistaken I think um, they were probably going to make a Switch Pro last year, and it's probably the chip shortage, that was, which is why they didn't. Like we just got so the I, I'm expect, yeah, I'm expecting. I'm personally expect uh, expecting before uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm expecting a Switch announcement. I would say around March. This the Switch uh, is going to be six years old in March. Like yeah, that is bro, that's, that's longer. That's longer than the Wii U's entire lifespan. <laughs> the oh, Switch yeah. is already that old. I was gonna mention. Yeah, like, I think it's yeah. time for a, an updated console, right? You already have like the PS5 has been out now for two years. You have you know Series X, same thing, right? It's time for Nintendo to drop. Did a you new say console. the PS5 has been out for five years? <laughs> to two years, not five. Oh, two. bro, I, I, I was like, what the five fuck years. I'm like, bro, the what? No, you're smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, just you no. Know, the PS5 has been out for two years, right? And people are still barely even getting those as is, but. but but it's like this is this is a pretty well known fact. It's like the Switch is underpowered hardware. It was underpowered on day one. Like yeah, <laughs> they had to struggle to get Breath of the Wild to run as well as it did on the Switch. And even that John or Jaleel, what, 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 who, which one of you was it? One of you guys said, bro, like when the game runs on your Switch, it feels like it's gonna blow up. Dumb. Yes, <laughs> it does feel like it's gonna blow up. You are correct. You are right. correct. <laughs> <laughs> I, when you when you do the lag test, the sunflora, the scavenger. Yeah, hunt. that one. That was the roughest <laughs> part. 
I was. I, was, rough I thought my switch was gonna catch fire in my hands. I was like, oh <laughs> no. I was. I was like, as soon as I got into the sun floor part, I was like, oh damn. There's so many times where I'm playing because I turned off auto save, so I'm like. Bro, if this game crashes, I go back so much because I know I haven't <laughs> saved in a while. So I'm so scared that the game always like I'll like do the flying, but then it has like that moment where it like stutters for a second. I'm like, if this game <laughs> crashes on the flyover, I'm done. Like it's like gonna... it's like when you're on the brink of like the Windows blue screen. It's like come back, come back, come back, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I had a weird issue. I was flying to like just one of the, t- I think Mesa goes or something. And that it took like a good, like four minutes to load. I'm like, Oh, the game's done. It's finished. The console's done. <laughs> this whole thing. I'm like, bro. I, Cause I had just cleared off all the gym leaders. I just did all of them in one sweep and I didn't save yet. So I was like, bro, if I have to do all these gym leader rematches again, I'm done. Cause there's no point. It just took forever. And then I was like, you know what? Turn, turn off the console. I'm not playing for the rest of the night. It's just, scare me too much yeah you, you gotta reset your game like every few hours or so because of the memory leak issue so it's like more lag's gonna build up as you play and eventually it's just gonna crash so it's like see you can't you can't play for longer than four or five hours without like really risking that your game's gonna crash and that's what like really killed like a lot of the reviews for the game right is, is the performance side of it the game has scored i think it did score lower than bdsp which is crazy because they definitely shouldn't be like it just makes no sense, but because the game is running and you know some people from, from fans or like actual reviewers, like the actual reviewers for general fans. Okay, I was gonna say Pokemon, this, actual actual Pokemon fine. reviewers don't make any sense. Like I no. gave Sword and Shield like a nine point something out of ten, and I'm like, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. They, they, they was, it was just kind of weird. I, for the most part, I'm like this game is super fun, but you can't read you know anything less than BDSP. Come on now, that's crazy. But well, okay, so uh, speaking of reviews. The Metacritic reviews of this game are the lowest of all time, like a 2.8 or some shit for Violet, I believe. Huh? Um, Damn. 2.8? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this isn't, like, if you look at professional reviews, like, if, um, I can't go on it right now, but one of you guys can. If you look at Metacritic, I think the professional reviews are average at 7.7. The user reviews average at 2.8. Now, I believe that this is, like, hype and, like, this is, like, trolling, you know, like, a bunch of people just jumping I mean, on the bad thing. Metacritic is, but, like, super, super susceptible to, like, angry fan bases just coming on yeah. and, like, just reviewing a game. But, like, yeah. I get it. I get it. People are trying to, like, voice their frustration with the state of the game, which, like, Makes sense. It's probably the best way you can go about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just review bomb it. I mean, it's up to a three. It's up to a three point seven now, so it's turned around a little bit. The thing but, though, <laughs> three point seven. <laughs> like I, I notice is it's only like a good handful of people. Like the same pictures I kept seeing where people were like, you know, had a weird thing come out of the ground or like their characters falling. It's like the same clip of like these like seven, eight people. So I'm like, this isn't even like a very often thing besides the frame rate. That did not like, happen to everybody. Yeah, like, like that, I like like, and there's no it. one that I know that like that happened to them. Like you guys are really just stretching this one particular one mm-hmm, until like mm-hmm. nothing else. So it's like, it's not that. Poke- the, the Pokemon. By the way, we have to check Pokemon donations. Oh yeah, we're literally on that RP. Okay. Uh, let's scroll back up to what was the last one? I believe it was from Jesus again with the five saying, which is more possible black and white remakes, black three and white three legends. Black Kira, three and white three is never coming, bro. I'm so or sorry. Or did never. they make Paradox Verizian just to make it? Well, they also made the Paradox Beast, but that's in the other game, but that might be a spoiler. So I, oh well. That's anyhow, spoiler. that's, in, anyhow, that's in the actual I don't point. think, I don't think the Paradox Verizian means anything for this generation. Um, other than I think it's just, I think it's just there uh, to be there. I don't know. No, I, no. I think Zach and I disagree heavy. Yeah. <laughs> There's no <laughs> shot they're remaking Johto and Unifa the same gen. There's actually uh, no shot. There's to no me, shot. I don't think they're remaking get, them. Don't do Johto, bro. Just do. Just focus on Unifa. We'll be fine. Like it's just. It's I, right I there. think. What I think if? of that whole crowd, I think Legends Kyurem's. I mean, okay, the most likely is black and white remakes. Like yeah. that's a given. Yeah. But like, what I see happening this well, probably not even this gen, but at some point, I th- I do think there will be a Legends Kyurem at some point. There's a lot of potential there. The only thing that's sad about like Unova is that it's either black and white remakes or Legends Kyurem, but they're not touching black They'll and white. They'll never too. remake black and white. <laughs> Those are okay, my favorite no, I, games, I, I, bro. So are you? Sad. Are you I, wait, hold on, hold on. Because bl- obviously, no, everyone knows this. Black two and white two are different from Emerald Platinum and all that jazz. Yeah. Um, and different, very different from Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. So, are you sure there isn't? What if? What if hypothetically? 
They're going to get an Oka maybe... too. <laughs> <laughs> what if hypothetically, hypothetically, Gen 9, you got black and white remakes. Gen 10, you got black and white 2 remakes. I don't think they would. I, I, that'd like be that, weird though. to like do a remakes like Gen Five in two separate generations. Like it just makes sense to just take it care would of be, but it's a two, because it's a two year gap between the games. You know. Yeah, but they also just, they like, also got to release Jojo. Legends. They also got to release Legends Kurum at some point. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they also they Jodo, just give us one. Jodo remakes got to come first, so you know that you know most likely uh, it'll be Jodo remakes this gen. I, I think and we'll I, be lucky to get a port of Black 2 and White 2. Yeah, That's bro. about all I'm expecting. Yeah. Because I think after the whole, like, we got Diamond and Pearl and not Platinum, like, after that situation, it's almost like they'll go with just the bare minimum just to make sure they get the game out. Hey, you got your, you got your taste. Here's your remake that you wanted. But, and we can work on something the, now. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, it's games that people just... love, right? We love them, but that... That's not going to excuse them. We love Platinum, but we still got Diamond and Pearl. Like, they'll just make I, yeah, a safe black and white remake just to be like, all right, here's here's Unova on the Switch, and that's it. Like, that's they, won't, they won't go the extra honestly, mile. That's that's true. True. I think they're exactly. honestly at the point where they just don't care about remakes anymore. <laughs> they're just no. like, eh, we're just making them out of obligation at this point. <laughs> No, we just, they just make them the make them bare minimum because they know we'll buy them so we can play them again. Oh yeah, wow! Some has had so much fun during this generation. Hey, and I'm ho- I hope we're wrong, but they're not gonna touch Black Twin White Two, bro. At, at most, yeah. they'll probably do the Black Twin White Two like Curum content in a Legends Curum, but they're not gonna do like a sequel I'll to put, a remake. I'll like, put money on it. I'll put money on. It. They don't touch Black Two White Two. <laughs> See, I, I'll put money on it too, but I, we won't know till Gen Ten is over. So that's a long wait. So we'll find out in like five years. Um, all right, all right. From now. In 2028, we're going to come back and be like, listen to that podcast. We predicted it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we got another 499 from Masp saying, I bet Infamous's favorite gym leader is Grusha because Stop. he was inside of him. <laughs> 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 the way you read that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Jaleel was like dreading that. He was like, don't read it. Don't read don't, it. <laughs> it, it, it. Look, it is what it is now. It's not won't let us go, bro. He won't let us go. He's and got then Mask also is within the 199 saying, y'all should check Twitter. I think I already know what it's going to be, but that's yeah, okay. I can't check Twitter right you now. You guys saw it already, yeah. What is it? Uh, it's just just uh, caught PR. Is that what I think <laughs> we, what we have it as right now? Let's see. Bro, Raph's the only one missing then? She. What did you get she... caught on, Hybrid? After, oh, I called. I said fake cock instead of fake Coco. That might be the best one, actually. <laughs> I, I, I got rid of it. I, I, was, I, I was trying to. Fake cock. Egg, the, the, the egg started hatching, and I accidentally hit B on uh, on the O on fake Coco, and I was like, what the hell's a fake cock? <laughs> or something like that. I forgot. Yeah. But oh well. All right, so the last thing that I personally wanted to bring up, and I made a video about this like a year or two ago, but I wanted to bring this conversation back. Has shiny hunting gone too far? Because back in the day, if you had one shiny, you were the cool kid in the neighborhood. It's like, yo, you had a shiny? You're crazy. You're cracked. Now it's like, oh, you don't have a full team of shinies before you got to the Elite Four? Loser. <laughs> Jaleel and I got seven and eight respectively. That shit was crazy. It was easy. That's insane. That's insane. That's now, crazy. granted, let me add, I did hunt four. I hunted four of my which did. Which I they weren't too long, and that's without making like the crazy sandwiches that everyone's been making for them now. I know there's ways where like people are getting like five or six, even paradox shinies within like 30 minutes, right? So it's it's just kind of easy now. I feel like last gen it was pretty easy, like in and even in like uh PLA, it was pretty easy. Thank god you had the sound, bring the sound back. Oh my god, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm a little bit like on the side of I'm glad the, the sound ain't here anymore because since they're so fucking easy to get with the sound, it's just gonna be even easier. <laughs> okay, bro. okay, Zach, I guess, I would be, I would be if there were so many trash shinies this gen that look exactly that is the it same. right you're there. Right. You're actually <laughs> that right. Issue you're right because I mean, there's a clip on Twitter where like some are hiding in the wall. Right, it's like Pokemon are trapped in between the wall, like breaking the game. That's true. So they can just glitch out of the game. Oh, that happens so to, to Callum, Hoodlum Callum. Yeah, yeah. There's there's so many of them that are doing that, and then some are just like a, a barely different that you can't even tell. And then also, depending on the like the time of day, is it day or night? You can see it better, or you can't see it at all. That's a good like point. Magnemite is like the Magnemite line. I almost missed mine because it was sunny as hell outside, and I'm like, <laughs> bro, I can't find this. Shine. I was like, wait. 
Are you different? At and nighttime, at nighttime, all the gases look shiny to me. They all look shiny. There's yeah. something like more like bluish about them in this game. That's was like summer, even like Flamigo, trash shiny, bro. Trash. It's like, it's like I'm I'm never I'm never gonna spot <laughs> Paul Diantaros is shiny. <laughs> That's the, the thing. <laughs> is I, um, so you know on the map, you know, every day it spawns and tells you like all oh, your mass outbreaks. I look through them like you're too hard to find, you're too hard to find, you're too hard. Oh, I can find you. All right, let's go. And I do that one. That's like it. Like Noibat, I did that one recently because it's, it's easy, it's green, it's bright, it's flapping around. But I get, I have like I had like a ghastly and a haunter on there. I'm like, hell no. I'm not no yeah. you're, you're not my time. getting that, bro. <laughs> you're not getting then, that shiny haunter. So, and then so even in you your guys, stream though. Uh how do you oh, guys just, feel about the 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 general shiny market i should say well like are you glad that shinies are so easy to hunt or do you feel like it kind of strips a little bit of the hype away oh i'm having a fun time with it but it's, it does strip a little bit of it's hype fun. Away. i think, I think it's, it's, fun. it's fun because it's like you, you, it's easier to get like you still kind of have to work for them but it's still like reward it's more rewarding now because it's like before yeah. you would you would have to grind days to get a shiny and, and now yeah. you can get them Quickly, but it's also since everyone's getting shinies pretty easily, it, it, it does take away a little bit. It's still hype when you get one of your own, but it's like it's not as hype as back in the day where you fucking flip a chair after five days of fucking hatching eggs and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I, I, I felt I, like I, a I weird. Still think, I ahead, still think the um, full encounter ones are hype as shit, but I think more than anything, what this has done is rarity aside. It has made shiny hunting so accessible to people where it's not like, like you're saying, John, it's not like a crazy thing, but like yeah. because of that, so many people are able to talk about it, so many people were able to engage in it. And I think this also adds to the lifespan of the game because I know, like, if, if you and Zach are talking about shiny hunting, John, I'm like, God, and even Jaleel, too, for that matter, if you guys are talking about shiny hunting, then it's like, damn, this game has done something right because. You guys, in some way, incentivize to go, go go find shinies a little bit, just a little bit. But even that, that's true. It might extend the lifespan of the game. Yeah, because so. like in the older gens, when it was so hard to shiny hunt, it's like why even bother, you know? True. Because yeah. it's the point now shiny where charm era, bro. Yeah, like, I guess I'm kind of on the fence about it because it's like I I do feel like they were too hard to find back in the day to the point where it's like near impossible. I, bro. Again, I'm again I'm not gonna waste my time. <laughs> they were so they were so rare back in the day. It's like if I find one, I find one, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to get one. Um, but now, I guess I'm I'm glad that there are shiny hunting methods, but. It's also just kind of like, oh, I made a sandwich and I got 15 shinies in a half hour. That to me feels like a little much. <laughs> it's like maybe they went a little too far in some departments is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, I definitely see it in that way, especially if it just it's as easy as making a goddamn sandwich. I feel like I, I don't know. At the same time, because I'm a little bit on the fence about it, too. I, I feel like I definitely enjoy it more than maybe you would, John. But like, I'm also thinking like for a shiny hunting content, I feel like. It goes both ways because, like Hybrid said, like now literally anybody could do it. And since they're, they're a lot easier to find, I feel like it's more rewarding for the audience too. They don't have to wait and be like, oh, they're never going to get the shiny. You never know. You're literally just watching some dude hang out, which is nice, but it's like they're more likely to get the shiny. So maybe more people, it's more rewarding for the audience in that degree. I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it's very 50 50. Um, there's, there's definitely good and bad points to it. I miss the old days though of like, x and y where there was a lot of different like methods now it's just like you know make yeah. a sandwich and that's about it there were like yeah. eight different methods in gen 6 alone like it was crazy back then no gen it's... 6 I, I i still say sorry my, my, my quality shit but gen 6 i still say is um co-op or like multiplayer is uh is still goaded it probably has the best multiplayer yeah probably, uh, like functions. probably yeah. yeah yeah but i guess next to last topic before we give our our closing thoughts on the games as a whole DLC predictions, real quick. What do you think? <gasps> Me first. Um, I, I hope I hope Gita's AI. I thought about this the other day. I hope she's a robot, bro. Kind of really. <laughs> she, looks it, she, 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 she looks like it, right? She her seems. She seems something is off. Still, I still play something's off of her, even though she's a like. Her she looks like trash, an alien, right? bro. <laughs> she does. I hope. I literally hope her we find art, out bro. she's AI, bro. She had those SpongeBob like, legs in the official art, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if if the professor could be AI, then I think the champion be AI would be kind of crazy. And then she like switches onto like 
like actual champion battle mode and she goes crazy she's cracked finally and then gives us a real challenge that's what i'm hoping for <laughs> probably won't happen but that's what i want yeah the megita better honestly <laughs> god our team is so garbage did, we, did you guys talk how bad kate is already we, we mentioned in like prior like we can talk about it more if you want no, our no, team no, just it's, sucks it's, it's so. i, I think i feel like good. everything really needs everything now. has already been said gita's garbage why does she have yeah. a go-go why does she have an avalog why the hell I, is Lamora her, 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 i feel bro. like i feel like if they do like get this ai route where she like switches and her team is like revamped completely it'll it'll actually and they form it into the storyline somehow for some dlc it'll bring her back some some i think i think i think Personally, I like Gita's character. I just think she's a shitty, she has a shitty team. That's all it is. Um, uh, but I also like her design. But I personally feel, and John, I know you're gonna hate me off for this, but jumping off Jaleel's point, if there's Gita DLC, and there's a reason why she had Avalug and Go Goat, and it linked to Kalos in some way, it could be pretty nice. This game's not gonna run when they put Kalos in it. <laughs> you won't even but be able Southern, to open the game. <laughs> but Southern Kalos, I'm like I'm thinking Southern Kalos is if people are like, if it's just Southern Kalos, that's pretty small if you think about it in comparison to Paladia. It's probably the size of the Crown Tundra. They right, give maybe, you they but, give you just like Kyloud City and the Battle Maison. Oh, uh, the get. worst part of Kalos. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I would want it to be the unexplored part of Kalos that we never got to ever visit. That's it. See, I feel about? like I feel like what they're probably going to do is the uh, Spanish Islands, because there's a lot of those. Uh, and I feel like we could probably do something similar to the Sevi Islands, but like in a new kind of open world-ish type of way. And I feel like that opens the door for like a lot of uh, like regional variants, which there's surprisingly little of in the main story. There's only Wooper and Taros. That's it. Um, so I feel like there's possibly a lot more that could be say for like a like just tropical island variant so i feel like that could definitely be a possibility i, I personally exactly. think I, I i personally think that like you know the, the island part's cool but i think i think what they could do is do that and then Kalos afterwards i'll put i'll put <laughs> money down on there's not going to be any Kalos. <laughs> no i'm not sure about that you might you might be right that's why i'm like i'm not going to bet here <laughs> like, might I don't right. know what they'll do, but me personally, I would like to see a Southern Kalos DLC. I think that'll be cool. Just like DLC, DLC in general it doesn't have to be Kalos. Um, like just something that like that adds more. It could be the islands, like you said, John. Just something that gives us more places to explore, where they would have more Pokemon, more forms, and stuff like that. I just think Kalos kind of makes sense. There's a lot of Kalos Pokemon in in Paldea and Gita's team as well, and there's the fact that the Kalos starters are in this game. Um, even though they're not in the deck, so that's interesting to know. It makes sense why the Hisui starters and the Gen 8 starters are there, because obviously that they were the new Pokemon from the latest gen, it makes sense for you to be able to transfer them, but the Kalo starters, why are they here if we're not in Kalos, technically? So I feel like there's going to be some Kalo stuff a little bit. Maybe maybe that's just me uh, wishful thinking, but I feel like there's, a, there's enough evidence to where it's not crazy to think that Kalos could come. And also... I hope we get more paradox forms. Like I said, I like the ones we got. I just feel like I wish I wish there was more, especially since that's such a big part of the story near the end. I feel like there weren't a whole lot. If that's the whole thing of like past and future Pokemon, they should be more in the DLC 100%. And I, I, a Pokemon League rematch as well. They should be there. Like give Gita a rematch team. Let you rematch Elite Four. Give them more like better Pokemon options. Because you can, I, I like the Academy Ace tournament. That's cool. But it's like, I feel like you should be able to rematch the league at least like you can't like at least x and y as as easy as that league is and sure you're fighting the same pokemon again in the rematches but at least you can just do it again for the experience and for the fun of it you can't even rematch you can't even rematch of uh, the elite four which is so dumb you can only hear that theme once and guess what i didn't hear it because of the fucking glitch so give me that rematch bro <laughs> I will also say it's it's really cool that it seems like they're saving like the third legendary for the DLC. DLC. Like, I'm pretty sure there's I'm, a I'm guy who like, sure created that. terrestrialization, which I'm kind of surprised he wasn't in the Heath. main story. But oh well. Heath, yeah. that guy go crazy. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the beasts and the musketeers and the third legendary will all be DLC. And I'm yeah. excited because I feel like DLC would be very story heavy, and I'm that's that's hype. That's hype. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So definitely, so bare good. minimum, we're at least getting those three as new legendaries, which would be cool. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, uh, uh, gym leader rematches as well. You can rematch them in the post game, but after the one rematch, you can't face them again, which is dumb. Why have it at all? Uh, yeah. If you can't do it, it again. Makes no sense. Oh. I'm a fucking Aaron boy. All right. Like, <laughs> it just made no sense. And also, like, you know, their teams were not great the second time around either. So. All right. So finally, let's put a rating on this bad boy. What are we saying? Hybrid will go with you. What's your rating? Oh, can I give? Can I give my quick closing thoughts on everything that we guys? Go ahead. Go ahead. Since, <laughs> since, since you started. came in late, since you came in late, go ahead. Okay, rating this three story arcs, team stars, and uh, the Titans storyline. Goaded gym challenge was kind of underwhelming. Not gonna lie, but uh, the stars and uh, Arvin made me uh, tear up a little bit. Goaded, goaded characters. Cloud was the best character ever made. Uh, in in no, okay, not Sanchi, but Cloud was really great. I think all the old characters are are, are amazing. All the young characters are amazing. All of, like the like the young adults are kind of okay. But like Arvin, Nimona, Penny, amazing rivals. Larry's goaded. Everyone knows. My like Kofu and Rhyme as well. Um, shit. Where's oh, that's it. Yeah, that's that's all you guys talked about. What the hell? Did you guys discuss anything else? Maybe like off-topic stuff. <laughs> I feel ya. Well, no, these games are amazing. I think I, I think the twist with. Um, the twist with the professors and the AI in the end was really good. I don't think people seen it coming. <laughs> people expected the professors to be evil, but I don't expect. I don't think they expected the AI. Yeah, everybody the AI thought Clavel was gonna be evil. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm so bro, glad bro. he didn't turn out to be evil. Bro, he's I, he was ended so up being wholesome the most wholesome by the end of the game. Character. Yeah, he was so wholesome. My guy Clive Clavel goes crazy. I love that guy. But um, nah, I personally think these games are easily the most replayable. They're like they're the most fun. Even Moist Critical thinks the gameplay loop is actually amazing, which is which is unprecedented because that guy don't like Pokemon. I like I I I love it. I love the gameplay loop. Um, I don't think only... it's accurate to say he doesn't like Pokemon. I think he likes Pokemon. He's just constantly disappointed at the state of Game Freak tur- like churning stuff out, which we touched on earlier. <laughs> fair, 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 fair. But he's had a problem with the gameplay gameplay loop in the past. I think this time it's changed for him with uh, this and Legends. But anyways, irrespective of that, um, yeah, easily most replayable. It's super fun. I want to actually catch all the Pokemon again. This is the second time they've yeah. done this since Legends Arceus. Um, shiny, like uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with Wi-Fi bells because these Pokemon go crazy. Uh, I think it has a great Dex. Um, the o- story-wise, my only complaint here is that I still have black and white higher than this, only because it feels like at the end of the game, all three story storylines converge, and that's where the story really takes place. Whereas black and white, the story is like there throughout the whole game. So because of that, I still have black and white on top. But these are maybe they're not the second highest rated Pokemon game for me, but they are my second favorite by for. For sure, and uh, I give it a nine out of ten. All right, that's everything. Khalil, let's go with you next. Uh, I enjoyed these games quite a bit. Um, uh, what do I want to set these at? It's it's probably like my second favorite. I, I'm and I'm replaying it right now. I I started Violet last night, having a fun time with Quaxley. Right, um. Super excited. Yeah, the game's good. As far as a rating number-wise, 8 out of 10. I think just the performance is what kind of killed it. The stories are great. A lot of the game is cool. A lot of the Pokemon are, are interesting, whether they have like great designs or not. Um, but I think if they fix the performance, and fix some of these teams, and like the little my, like minute things, like it'd be a 10 out of 10 or not about that, but like a 9.5 out of 10. But for now, I would say like an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10 for me. All right, Zach? Oh, right. For me, really, really enjoyed these games. Uh, I've told you, I think I told you guys in before, like, uh, well, at least in private, I don't know. But I th- I've said before, top three for me, I really, really like these games. Like, you know, the others have said as well, the performance really is what takes it down for me. I feel like if these games ran the way they were meant to, to run, if they were actually properly finished, these could have been like like maybe my favorite games. But like... The performance definitely holds it back a little bit. Like, for me, I'm not as critical when it comes to graphics and stuff. And you can even see, like, my first time playing through the game when I streamed it. Like, when the weird graphic stuff would happen, like, the lagging in Mezagosa and stuff like that. Like, I would, uh, like, I would just laugh. But I, it still sucked. But it, it wasn't, like, a deal breaker for me, unlike other people. But still, I, I just wish it ran better. But still, overall, really, really enjoyable. Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a nitpick a minor nitpick i just wish there were a bit more paradox forms um and the league i wish the league was was done a bit better but other than that really really solid games 
um awesome story like the end of the game is probably like the best story content in any pokemon game period um it pokemon's never really gone that like dark before i think and and, and like crazy ass twist that i don't think anybody expected like hybrid said um and yeah overall i think i give them it, it's hard it's like i i, I want to say like a nine but it's like ah uh, just like the, the graphical stuff is a bit annoying so i i give eight eight point eight out of ten <laughs> i think when we're giving these ratings chat just to let you know like this is like based off like like a, like a what a more critical of you if you can even say that not too critical but i think within our hearts it's it's higher rated if that makes any sense to people yeah but um it's, it's yeah, one yeah. of those cases of like i can acknowledge the game is super fun and i really like it for that but i'm not gonna like correlate fun with it actually yes. being like good shit actually <laughs> yeah. when you put it like yeah. that I'll, I'll give the games an eight out of ten no <laughs> yeah because like yeah. i it's... like i've had a lot a lot of fun with these games because obviously i'm a pokemon fan i love this shit but looking at them pokemon critically man. critically right it's like these games were not m supposed to come out like this like if this were any and other it... franchise i would be very disappointed with how the game plays oh absolutely and it's it, it's funny because Seven out of ten, eight out of ten is the was like their main review score of these games. Um, from yeah, all the big pretty, reviewers, pretty low reviews by Pokemon standards, I'd say, which mm -hmm. is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's Pokemon just literally, literally the, eight, nine. the performance is what really killed it. I feel like if the, if the performance wasn't like as bad and it was like pretty damn smooth, higher rated easily, yeah. So, yeah. But like, for me, gameplay um, wise, it's like. Uh, eight out of ten, like content wise, like enjoyment, it's it's like nine point five. All right, go, John. All right, so I might have told Hybrid this. I'm not sure already, but for me, in the beginning at least, I thought these games were extremely, extremely mid. <laughs> I was I was not having the fun for the first few hours. I was like, man, games look ugly. Games run <laughs> terrible. The stories aren't all that interesting. It definitely gets better as it goes, though, and I guess sort of that's just like you adjust to some of the some of the technical shortcomings of this game. Uh, as much as I hate to admit it, you, like, you do kind of have to get used to it as it goes. Um, and I do think the end game stuff with uh, the whole last plot, Area Zero is awesome. I love Area Zero. Huge uh, Xenoblade vibes I get from there is the design of the area and also like the music and everything. Also, we didn't talk about much about the soundtrack. Although the soundtrack for this game is like, everything is okay except for the stuff that Toby Fox very clearly composed, which is like God tier. Yeah. Everything else I was like, eh, it's all right. It's not the it's best. It's Pokemon stuff, basically. Yeah. Basic Pokemon, but everything, yeah, everything Toby did, oh no my throat. God, yeah. bro, that's, banger. That's also like the beginning, of the beginning of the game, I was like, yo, this is a really weak soundtrack by Pokemon standards, but then you get towards the end game and you start hearing the stuff that Toby composed and you're like, oh yeah, this is a lot better. This is really good. Did he, did he make Area Zero? <laughs> Yeah, he did. He did like yeah. most of the Area oh Zero stuff. The God. fight with and AI Sada and Turo, bro, that's straight up like Undertale like vibes, bro. Like that, yeah, that final did, boss, he did, holy music. crap. That's he did slash. that battle theme. He did the wild battle theme in Area Zero. He did just the general overworld theme in Area Zero. He did my favorite city theme with the the water, the water town. Uh, Laventia? Not, yeah. Not, no, not no, no, Kara, uh, Kara something or Kas, uh, whatever. Something. It's, it's, out, Kofu's, it's Kofu's out there city. next to the desert. Yes, yeah, it's next to the desert. Kofu's yeah, golden. Junichi Masuda uh, had a good one too with the uh, oh, with Gita's Ka Belt team. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think Gita's Belt team slept on. There's but, a ton yeah. of shortcomings that's hard to ignore. Maybe if they patch these games and they fix some of the stuff, it'll be better. I was a little let down by the league, of course, and a little bit by the gyms. And eh, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's so hard to rank. It's probably the hardest Pokemon game to rank. It's probably in the top five. There's a lot of steps back from Legends Arceus in the in the like overworld department, I would say. Uh, I probably go the high seven, it's seven point six, seven point eight, something like yeah. that. I just don't know. be that guy. Just it really is like, weird. Like it, it, it's hard to rate them because it's like there's the way you want to look at them critically, like how they stand as actual video games and how they're presented and how you how you uh experience them as a pokemon fan you know what i mean because like as a pokemon fan the content is really really good it's just that the game isn't fully like yeah. polished you know what i mean so it's yeah. like what it's scale weird. am i putting this on if i'm comparing this strictly to pokemon games like yeah it's really good if i'm comparing this to like 
every video game, then it's I not like, that good. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll say for me, I you know, I took a break from God of War to like focus on Pokemon for content reasons as well. But like, God of War is a ten out of ten. Like, I, I so stop to stop playing a ten out of ten to come play like an eight out of ten. If we're being critical, like a seven out of ten, I know is what a this bit man rough. voted for in the Game Awards. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I I should have, and obviously, I, I yeah. So, um, <laughs> you know, but yeah, if we're comparing like game to game, it's a little, it's it's very different. But Pokemon to Pokemon game, it's it's a different scale. It's not as yeah. bad. Like for context, like like one of my favorite uh video games non pokemon games is probably a uh, spider-man ps4 that game got to in yeah, my opinion really but if game. that game like came out like this like unfinished oh. lag as hell oh. that would be oh. fucking oh. terrible you know Bro, what i mean would get ripped to shreds imagine you're swinging and it's like going like 10 frames <laughs> you brought you people are gonna slander yeah exactly I, I, I don't think people i don't think people understand how lenient we are with pokemon yeah. just because this is yeah, it's unacceptable. super lenient yeah like it, it is mean, unacceptable but because we love pokemon we're able to look past a lot of its flaws mm -hmm. and yeah. enjoy the the actual content we we look past the flaws. We look past the things that we wanted. Obviously, like the hot topic and videos that keep seeing my recommended feed. Voice acting this, voice acting that. Like even I was like, yeah, God. even like playing the area zero. I was like, bro, where's the voice acting? Because I'm I'm like trying to read the text at the bottom, but I'm also trying to pay attention so I don't run into like a screaming tail in the way. So I'm like, <laughs> bro, this is just like a shiny, there's, bro. There's, there's like trying to there's focus. like eight minutes of cutscenes in this game that they couldn't have voice acted. Eight minutes. Do you know how many? You know how many hours of cutscenes there is are. Is it actually eight minutes? I saw eight selling minutes. A forty minute I think video. It's literally like eight minutes or twelve. Are you, no way. Between both versions, it's probably like it's probably like twelve or thirteen or something like that. Bro, huh. imagine the, the final fight with Nomona was actually voice acted. Oh my oh, god! Oh, it would have been so. That good. was perfect for voice acting. I was like, like oh, did, you guys, did you guys you, touch you on that? You couldn't. You that couldn't. Is... You couldn't voice act ten minutes of of cutscenes. Like you know, you know how many hours of cutscenes there are in a in your average Xenoblade game. There's like ten to fifteen hours of cutscenes. They're all fully voiced. <laughs> it's like, come on, Pokemon. It's ten minutes. It's ten minutes of cutscenes. There's barely any voice lines you have to do. And people say, oh, but they had to translate into so many languages. So what? It's ten man. minutes. Oh man. I just, I don't get it. They have to translate to many for the anime every single week. Even, so we're just getting done. Voice acting in the trailers, so and they're like, don't don't expect voice acting in the final. Jesus, <laughs> <part." laughs> no, voice that? acting. Uh -huh. Though it's, though, Clavel's voice in that trailer wasn't the best. I have to, to, to me admit. to me it's it it kind of lines up with the like removing the the shift versus set thing where it's like, is this a deal breaker? No, but is it mildly infuriating? Yes, it should yeah. be there. <laughs> but like, it's not. I'm not gonna slander the game because it doesn't have voice acting i'm just gonna no. wish that it was there pretty but, much good yeah. way to put it i guess i guess that pretty much sums up scarlet and violet as a whole also oh my god online raid battles raid battles are so much fun this game compared to sword and shield but god they feel like such cheese at times like just the way everything is so desynced online i don't know if y'all tried that with the charizard it was a mess Oh, I had someone carry me for Charizard. So I was like, bro, you guys just have that. You mean you had mask to carry? Mask. You had mask carry? Actually, I had I have speedy carry, and the mask was there, That's though. But Yo, shout uh, out to yeah. mask, by the way. This man has been the GOAT, the Pokemon dealer. Yo. He helped out me, Hybrid, yeah, yeah. Raph, and Yo. Jaleel. Crazy. Like everybody. I mean, it's a legend. I, I, I got to get going, guys. But like, last thing I got to say, yo, the Nimona right. fight, we'll probably. Right here. <laughs> After we Sorry? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, no, I got, I got, no, I got to get going right, right now, right now. But okay, uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, but but the Nimona fight, the last one, on par with like champion, like the the final, uh, fight in, in Kanto, bro. That should have just been there. the champion fight. That should have actually just been the champion fight. So it was the one. champion fight. That's they they probably they I probably know, cut the game because of that. As the champion fight. <laughs> if, if 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 Nimona had the stronger starter, that would have easily been the best fight. A best rival fight in all of Pokemon. I don't know. Why is she rocking an Orthworm, though? That was C. See the teams, bro. Hey, hey, teams are a little still weird, better bro. Than Avalug. Still better than Avalug and True. Gogo. True. <laughs> True. 100%. Orthworm has a good ability. Nah, it, 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 it does, can. but it, still, It's man. funny, bro. After the Gita fight, I was so disappointed. I'm like, all right, Nimona, here we go. And she starts out with Lycanroc. And first thing she did is Stealth Rocks. So I'm like, oh, shit. 
this is an actual fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. But uh, no, nah, nice talking to you guys. I didn't get. I didn't even expect to get on the pod today. But uh, I'm glad, bro. But uh, next week I won't be here for sure. I'm in, I'm in silence. So it is what it is. Right, I'll see you guys. Sure. All right. Mm-hmm. Glad you, to have bro, you on here, Mr. Man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all enjoy, bro. Y'all enjoy. All right, Take man. Care. See ya. Bye. All right, so to wrap up tonight's podcast, we're going to read out some of your donations that you guys have generously given to us from Notorious Trainer. Is is that Australian dollars? Uh, I think so. Uh, $7.99 so. Australian dollars. Not going to lie, my water absorbed with grass terra type Claude Sire carried me. That does sound kind of sounds wacky. <laughs> t- great. I wish a yeah. gym leader had that, bro. Or even <laughs> just Rika, bro. Rika like, come on. Have had that, bro. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I can't. And Nathan says, I use the auto battle auto battle mechanic for the hard to spot shiny since it keeps your Pokemon from attacking them. That's true. You can use that for that. Uh, Wait, that's yeah. true? Yeah, yeah you can yeah, they won't they won't kill the shiny, but I don't know if they'll always get oh, them through the walls. So, nice. Uh, I get that's I, I do they use it. They might just like not even go up to them. Yeah, that auto is battles true, are a little annoying sometimes. They were hit and miss. Like some Pokemon, I also hate sending out some Pokemon for the auto battles because they're so slow. I'm like, bro, if you don't just run up, kill it, and come back, because I'm just trying to go about my way. I just want to see if it's shiny or not. There are some, some that are absolutely just, suck to do, like uh, doing Varum, terrible. Doing Veluza, terrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> doing anything on a lake, terrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah, and then Masp says, Raph already caught 4K, Zach knows. <laughs> does Zach know? Uh, I do he? know. Okay. Oh, okay. We might have to save that till Raph is here. Not to expose him when he's not here. That, that's pretty well. <laughs> Striker 15 with the big 20. Thank you, Striker 15. He says, infamous in response to your DC comment about why they are making films on B-tier heroes, you have to remember that the head of DC is James Gunn, who loves obscure characters, hence why Guardians films and Peacemaker show exists. Okay, uh, to rebuttal that, uh, true, James Gunn is ahead, but Guardians wasn't made until the Avengers was established. So we don't have a Justice League established. They should focus on the main heroes of the universe. We don't even have a technical universal Batman at this point. They're just kind of <laughs> going with whatever. When you literally have Pattinson sitting right there, chilling pretty. And then you can establish your BC, whatever characters from there. I mean, I respect him for choosing like the, the you know, the, the lesser known characters or just like the non face uh, fronting heroes and villains. But you got to start with them first. Like it's, it's too obvious and too there to not do. Like you can't create, keep creating universes of Black Adams and other side characters with like, I know we technically have Superman, but we haven't had a movie in so long. So just make the proper stuff correctly. If I'm the jury, I'm going with that. That was a pretty good rebuttal. (laughs) (laughs) And finally, to close out tonight's stream, Shiny Charm with the 199. Thank you, Shiny, saying, when are y'all going shiny hunting with me? I'll join you this weekend because you've been, like, posting a crap ton of shinies, like, all week. So I I need to join that party. Yeah, we'll get on that. in Shiny Charm, so I would hope that she does. (laughs) That's probably why. I mean, the, the the rates are really low. If you get the shiny charm, you do the sandwiches. I think it's like one in like six hundred or something. So five it's twelve, I think. Five twelve. Five twelve. Oh yeah. See, That's look at that. Crap, with with the re rolls, if you're doing like the um. The, yeah, the the picnic is is the main method I use. But I just saw like this video from Austin John. That man's been holding it down for like tutorial. Shout out to him because he's been killing it. I watched a video last night. He was showing like the isolation thing, and I was like. This looks like a lot less time consuming than me just killing 60 of these Pokemon through auto battle. I can just <laughs> run around like, okay, oh, here it is. Done. Call it a day. So, yeah. Probably this weekend, though. That's what I would say. Well, all right. Do we have any further thoughts about Scarlet and Violet before we end off? Just fix them. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> just got, That's got, all it is. I got, just one small one i don't know what to think of the cities in this game they are like beautiful but there's nothing to do in them they all have the same sandwich shop yeah the same that's shop. that is true <laughs> every city's just a glorified grocery store yeah they're the so first... boring but so pretty like <laughs> i don't know where i fall in them 
when we got to Los Platos, I, the first thing I did was try to walk into someone's house. And I was like, bro, is this broken? Is it not loading? Like, can I just <laughs> not walk in? I was like, I can't walk in the houses. I mean, I, I get it. That was, but... was Shendon's big remove feature indoors. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, though. The game's explorative. But, yeah, the towns are a little bit lackluster. They're kind of all, like, the same template. You get, like, one Pokemon in the front of the town that maybe in the back of the town as well. It's like either it's like the hair across on both sides or the greetings on both sides or whatever. And then it's the town and then whatever you have. So. And then you got the lagging uh, people passing lagging by. Lagging people, <laughs> it kills me every time. Like, bro, they're moving so badly. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, that worst. is true. But anyhow, people, that is going to do it for tonight's podcast on pokemon scarlet and violet thank you guys so very much for tuning in tonight next week is raf's podcast i believe so if i had to make a bold (laughs) prediction probably if you're a betting man (laughs) (laughs) we're just gonna be at it folks so brace yourselves bro he he lines this up perfectly every time (laughs) it's actually great and uh, actually, Mask gave us one last donation. Four stream ends. What did you see that day, Zach? Anyway, that's going to be the end of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, it's funny. Oh, that's good stuff. He'll he will never, never know. know the.